Town. And we are live. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey Let's guys. do our mandatory mandatory sound check. Can, Can you hear you, us okay? Can you hear me over here? Let's see. All right. Let's see if we got. Um, okay. Not, watch Nightbot. He's an asshole. Yes, he is. Uh, let's see here. Everybody hear us? We do not have Celine tonight. Yeah, no Celine. And she said she sent somebody, but I have not seen a message from her. So... I see Herb Coswell in the Hey, Marilyn. Hey, Herb. Marilyn Gareth. Bentley. Fabio. Uh, Ethan. Timo. No audio, somebody say. Oh, right here. Yeah, we know about that, Ethan. Yeah, this this is uh, Sound Sucks. Okay. Uh, let me see. I think it's all the way up, actually. Yeah, it's going to be a, this is, this, this is Mike is a single channel microphone. So yeah, it's, uh, I got to replace this for live streams. That is coming. Yes, it is. All right, everybody can hear, uh, nightmode.caldea. You can go to, uh, gaming.youtube.com slash smokescreenvids1 and see it in night mode. Uh, Gecko, Omar, Anna, Ethan, Gareth, uh, Yvette, T. Hughes, Aaron, Yurda, <laughs> they're flying by now. Uh, Scott, go. Lauren, Brian, BLW22, what's up? Uh, Top Wink, Dragon, 5616, Ethan. All right, so uh, before we get started, we're going to talk about the, the trailer a little bit, I guess. Uh, but let's, I want to go over a couple of things real quick. Sure. Um, first of all, uh, and I have a little list here just so I wouldn't forget. Uh, Tanner Roden, if you're watching. Thanks, oh sir. Oh, my God. Thank you, Tanner. Thank you, Tanner. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Yeah, uh, so appreciate that, man. Uh, good, old, good friend of mine, from, from been around from, from the beginning. And uh, he, uh, he, he did something very, very nice, very cool. Absolutely. So thank you, Tanner. Um, let's see. Uh, also, a quick shout-out to Stephen Janitz. Stephen Janitz, hope all is well, man. Uh, uh, I got your message. So just one, I'm not sure if you're watching yet, but hopefully you'll see this either or either now or the video yeah. uh, once it posts. But shout out to Stephen. To Stephen, uh, and yeah. Your whole crew. Yes, absolutely. So thanks uh, for watching, bud. Also to Kiwi, uh, as far as the brand question, Kiwi wanted to mention that really quick. Uh, the brand question about the Night King. We'll get to that here in a little bit. But Kiwi, I just want to let you know I got your got your message. And also, I uh, wanted to update you real quick on Con of Thrones. Yes. Con of Thrones, we will be there, uh, I think it's booth 309. I could, that may be wrong, maybe 307. It's 309. I'm, Is it 309? I, I would bet my So, Con of Thrones, booth 309, will sure. be there. Also, I am now uh, been invited, uh, thanks to some good friends, to a few panels. So, if you go to the Con of Thrones website, you can check out the little bio there. And uh, Val and I from Because Geek, Roarist, Kevin from Bat Productions, all that. We got, we're on some panels now. And you can go to the the kind of thrones .com website and go to speakers and uh, get the schedule and see us You're all there. You do two one day and one on two other days. Yes, right? yes, four panels I believe. Uh, two on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So go to the kind of thrones website. You can find that. So we will be there. And then of course booth three hundred nine if that's right. right. I believe that's right. But it's it's three hundreds. There's not that many vendors. So anyway, hopefully uh, we'll see some of you guys there. And also really quick. Um, Rorus will have a live stream. If you, our guys are fans of Rorus, I'm sure I know her channel. I will be on her channel Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I believe. I'm 95.2% sure of that. Let's all go check that out. Yeah, so that'll be a live stream on her channel, uh, 9 o'clock Wednesday. So that's going to be anyway. Awesome. So uh, anyway, let's talk about the trailer real quick before we get into questions. What'd you think about now, the trailer? About the trailer. Are you hyped yet? Is everybody I, hyped yet? I am so so hyped. Um, let me answer Anna's question real quick. Okay. Says, uh, James, the shirt is sweet. Did, uh, did I? Uh, probably my okay. favorite so far. Love it. Uh, was it from your daughter? Also, happy birthday. Sorry, it's belated. Yes. That's yeah, all that's right. right. Yeah. Um, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, big 44. And uh, my daughter gave me four new shirts. This is one of them. And, you know, she told me uh, before she gave them to me, she was like, Dad, yeah, I'm she, so sorry I ruined these she shirts. She thought she messed them up, right? These things are horrible. It's the worst batch I've ever made you and all this stuff. And uh, she broke them out, and they're all awesome. So yeah, you'll get you'll get to see them in the upcoming weeks. But, no, that that trailer, man, well, you're always on top of it. Yeah. So you sent <laughs> well, me that text. I wish they would have put out the damn pictures of Ari and the knife before the trailer, or at least the same day before I recorded the video. Because now we know what she was looking for. I hit Chris up. I broke down on the side of the road, and I said, <laughs> come get me, man. And he said, 
did you see the trailer? And I looked down, I saw the link you'd sent me of the trailer, so I watched the trailer on the side of the road. Right. And by the time he got there, I was so jacked up, man. No, that thing had me so amped. Yeah, it's it's it pretty, covered almost everything. It's didn't pretty it? badass. What's you know what's great about it is 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 it's everything's kind of finally starting to happen. You're starting to see right. all these things pay off. People have been waiting literally since 1996 for Danny to cross the narrow sea. Yeah. And, and now she's she's touching down in the show first, obviously, but she hadn't left in the books yet. But she will at some point. So it, it's pretty cool to see this stuff coming together and getting to this conclusion. And it's also sad. Couple things. It's, it's sad at the same time. It's like it's going to go away. It, it really is. And, um, and you see these kids getting older and older and older, you know, and it's just crazy. Yes. You, you can feel it, man. It's coming to a head, and they're ready. But there's a couple of things you pointed out in there that I wanted to talk about. First off, uh, I thought the Lannister armor was kick ass. Yes, it, it, by, it's the best in the show by wow. far. It always has been, but now it's even better. Cersei's uh, she's she's fixing shit up, being broke. Yeah, that's, right. that's <laughs> oh, all I was going to no. mention. You know, people so, are saying that you know what did she pawn to get that stuff? You know. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, and that may, that may be uh, that's what I was saying. I was saying how Casterly Rock looked cheap it, in the in the review video. It's like. You know, a couple paintings and stuff. If it's, you know, it may be Lannis poor, but I'm sure it's pretty. You I'm pretty sure it's Castle Rock. With, uh, interior decorating skills. Over yeah, there. take Cersei. You need to take her ass there and fix some shit up. But it, it looked, it looked cheap. It but you know, cheap. we know they have ATV, so well, maybe. You have me looking really hard at uh, Jorah's uh, arm sticking out, and you know, and that's uh, yeah, that uh, really went by fast. Yeah, it was so, quick. Yeah, yeah to pause that, free frame it. Yeah, yep, exactly. But, uh, yeah, I, I think, I don't know, I, I'm assuming that's the Citadel in some kind of quarantine. It could, it maybe it's somebody else. But it looked different. It looked. I agree. It looked um, like, you know, flesh was dripping off his hand almost. So it could have been after the like treatment, your, whatever what the treatment is. I like is. your theory about that. You know, after, maybe it was he's sticking his, yeah, he's yeah. Stick his hands through it on, he pours something or whatever mm -hmm. Sam ends up doing. I thought it was going to be Quaid's originally. But uh, uh, Pan says I think it's going to be Lance Port. It, it could be, um, but then again, you know, I think it's going to be Castle Rock. But yeah, it, it looked kind of cheap. I don't know. What did you, uh, what did you think about it? Uh, I, I loved it, man. I, I thought it was uh, like I said, it's kind of the, the culmination of everything happened coming right. together. You're seeing, you know, we know there's going to be this kind of mini Stark reunion. We know Danny's finally going to actually touch the ground where she was born. She literally never has. She, yeah, and it shows her really um, bloomed down, touching. Uh, yeah, it I mean, so much to it, it. it's really, you know, the the poster. Okay, that, Janine, thank you. The poster that came out was was all about the Night King. Everything's been about the Night King, but they're still not. That's still going to be the end of the season. Right. So you saw in the trailer, you didn't even see the Night King. You didn't see Bran. No. Now, there probably will be another trailer. I'm sure at least one more before the show starts. And uh, maybe we'll see Bran there with the visions or something like that. So. Is that, uh, they're telling me to move near the mic. Is that how um, Is that how it normally is, you know, before the seasons? You, you get a couple at least? Yes, you'll get the teases, the little short ones like with the long walk we had. And then mm -hmm. probably usually two or three trailers. But this Good. time we're, we're, they're, they're behind. So we'll, we'll get at least one more, maybe two. Uh, all right, so lean into the mic. Yeah, that's like the third or fourth one. Okay, uh, let me let me double. Ch I think this is as high as it goes here. Uh, I can raise it a little bit. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Yeah, that we'll try that. Try that. Um, all right, let's see here. All right, let's see what we got with some uh, with some questions. What did you guys think? I'll, I'll I'll just read them as we go. But what did you guys think of the trailer? I guess you guys are hyped up. I'm sure. I would say uh, so. It, it's pretty badass trailer. And then Drogon's so damn big. If that was Drogon, I think it was. I think you saw Danny on it, but it, I'm colorblind. So oh, it might have been Rhaegal or Viserion. I saw you to comments. Yeah, so. I am colorblind as shit. So uh, anyway, all right, let's see. Um, thanks, Pete. Yeah, I appreciate the, the stickers, man. I saw your, your comment earlier. I, I remember that from a while back. All right, uh, let's see here. I uh, saw something a minute ago that flashed by. Um, Big Sensi, Q&A, do you think uh, John will find or get some hint of his parents in the crypts will not fully understand it? Uh, I think it's possible. I think that, that scene with the Littlefinger scene is going to be a tease. I still think really? that's going to be a tease. I think he's going to go down there to say, like, before he leaves, mm -hmm. he's going to go say goodbye to Ned and, and all that kind of stuff, and right there beside Lyanna, because that whole family will be right there in the same section. Right. And it's, as far as this generation, and then it's going to be, you know, we're going to see the shot of it. I, I think that, you know, I think some people may be right. When I was doing the, the trailer breakdown, I was, you know, you hear Littlefinger and you're assuming she talks to, talking to Sansa. Yeah. But he could be talking to John, and that may be where I he says it. I did not think about that. Because he's going to be playing both sides of the fence. Like, you're the best hope. No, you're the best hope. Yes. You know, that's what he's going to be doing. 
So that very well could have been that in the scene. In that the scene of Littlefinger hiding in the shadows, was that in the crypt, you think? I think so. I, I, I'm, I'm going to assume that's before the conflict, okay. yes, before he comes across. So John's John down there visiting by himself, thinks he's alone. Probably. Littlefinger comes out of the shadows and yeah. starts his so shit. So now he's creeping like a damn ninja yeah. or something. It's, it's insane. Okay. All right, I think we got, did I see a super chat come in? Yes, uh, I'll see. All right. Thank you, Nikki Kimball. Thanks a thank lot, Thank you Nikki. for the Super Chat donation. Uh, do you think there's any validity to, validity to the theory that John will marry Sansa? Supposedly, based on Duncan Egg, Sansa's last suitor will be a Targaryen. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't think they're going to go that route. Um, I, it's certainly possible. I, I'm certainly open to it, but um, I, I just think it will be too weird. It'd be way too weird. I think so too. You know, because I think the way they're going to go is part of the bittersweet thing is John and Danny, you know, inevitably get together in some love story and then they find out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. what do we do now? But it's hard to say, but I, I don't think they're going to go that route. It may be proposed, but I think it'd be too weird for both of them. Um, because John is now the king and we'll, just see how, we'll have to see how it goes with Littlefinger. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Watch out, Herb. Nightbot got you. Sure um, Three Super Chat, Muse says. Uh, don't see, but, okay, I see your da. I don't see a question, though, your da. So no, I don't know if you meant to have a question you, there. If you did, please retype it. Uh, I don't see a question, Definitely. but thank you so much for the uh, donation. All right, let's see. Um, let's see here. What I miss? Uh, Fabio says uh, Fabio Bazzanini. Is that correct? Maybe I, yes. I, maybe I'm close. I think you are. Uh, Q and A is George's arm being burnt mean that he is being cured? That's what I thought. I thought it was very close to the uh, to the the Victorian thing in the books. I do too. Uh, where Makoro healed Victorian by Not burning his arm. Not because I read it, but because you told me right. the story. Yeah. I think they may play that storyline a little bit. So I I don't really know. Obviously, they didn't you know reference any of that in the show, but. I think that's very possible that it's because it, it did look burn. It looked like it burnt and really did. you know shit dripping off. It was it was pretty damn nasty. Oh, there's Roris in the chat. Thank hey, you, Roris. Uh, how would you rank Val's obsession with Jon Snow? I'm gonna tell you what. She's obs did you see that video last year? <laughs> John. <laughs> no. Look, let, let me let me clear that up now. I don't know. That was just our our, our, our last year. We did the predictions. And that was just my editing. It was. Just, I thought it was right. funny. I mean, Val may have hated it. I don't, right. She didn't really say anything then. I don't know. Val, did you hate? It? I don't know, Val, if you're in here. But uh, it, it was just my editing. She's not a Jon Snow fanboy, or, or is she? Or is she? I don't know. Roris, I can't wait to see your um, live stream with Chris on there Wednesday. Yes, uh, thank you, ma'am. You did not have to send a super chat, but I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. She. It's pretty high up there. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, now you're, oh, see, now Roris is all in chat now. Um, love. Jackie says, uh, Val's obsession is no worse than most of us. See? Yep, see, it's a common I'm thing. Sure. Very common thing. <laughs> I'm sure. It's the long flowing locks and the, uh, yeah, that's probably what it is, right? It's just that, the hair. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, Pete Easy, oh, I guess. That is, thing he does with his mouth. Uh, let's see. Scott uh, says, Scott, Kil is that uh, Kilo or Kilow? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, hey, Chris and James, I still think Brandon will physically ride a dragon and the little brother is Tyrion. Thoughts? Um, I think it's possible. I still think the whole you will fly thing refers to flying through time. Yeah, I don't see a reason he would need to. Yeah, um, I, right. I, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, I, I could see the warging thing possibly. Sure. You know, that's certainly a possibility. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent with that yet. But because uh, that to me is more of a John thing. Right. Being a warg and a Targaryen with some kind of dragging bond, uh, bonding ability, I guess you could say. Um, and uh, I guess uh, little brother with Tyrion. I think it's going to be Jamie. I think it's kind of like been right there under your nose the whole time. She thinks it's Tyrion. It, everything points it to be Tyrion because exactly. they don't get along. She hates him. And vice versa, but then Jamie's there the whole time, being the younger brother, technically uh, by a yeah by a minute or whatever he was younger. Uh, Don Willie, Donna by some fire. Thank you, Don Willie. Thanks, Thank you Don. so much, Vala de Harris. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Got Don Willie in the house. Check out his channel, a Don of Ice and Fire. Let's see here. Um, P. 
Pete Easy says, Q&A, when do you think we'll see Rhaegar? I think if we see Rhaegar at all, and I'm not sure we will, he's almost been talked up too much. He they has. have to do a perfect job casting him. If oh, it is, yeah. it may be like a quick little shot from behind, but I think we'll see it at the Tourney of Harrenhal flashback. I do think we'll get that. So I think we'll see him through Bran's flashback at the tourney and kind of get the Lyanna Rhaegar love story. Right. Just to uh, let everybody uh, yeah. know he did not kidnap her. So I don't know if we'll see a lot of Rhaegar like talking, and I, I don't. I don't think it's going to be a big long thing. Uh, but I do think we'll get that backstory. Uh, let's see here. Ion Tron, the master of retweets. What's up? I didn't see him in the chat earlier. Let's see. Uh, Q and A from uh, Yerda. Is it okay? This is okay. I, yeah, this is uh, maybe your question from the super chat. Q and A. How you? Much of a stark union do you expect in season seven? Yeah, I expect that John will barely miss Bran, Bran and Arya. Yep, I, I think we'll get him. We'll get Bran and Arya, and and you know, Sans in the same room. Right. But John's going to unfortunately already be south. gone. Yep, he'll be going down south. That's the way. It's it's always that way. They've kind of did that th know, twice now with Bran. Bran's been like this close. Uh, let's see. I just saw a super chat, I believe. Top Shelf Underground. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, do you see the pics of Ari with the cat's paw blade? Yes. Do you think she <laughs> gets that killing Bayless? <laughs> this is what we were just saying in the very beginning of the stream. Yes, absolutely. I wish those pictures would have came out. Because I was, honestly, when I did the trailer breakdown, I was like, okay, I mean, I really, you just don't have much to go off of. No, you're guessing a lot. And, but, but I will say, I will say that we said back last July, in Dragon Part 1, I believe, might have been 2, but we started that series last July, that this blade would come back to the story. And yes, we, we called it. That picture, wow. We called it. We said this blade would we be did. back. Because everybody's so focused on the Valyrian steel swords and which sword is yes, going to do what, are. but not the blade. I said a long time ago, I do think it would show up, and now I think that's what she's doing in the scene. It's prominently she's, displayed on those yes, pictures. Yes, absolutely, right there in front. I think she's probably going through... Uh, Littlefinger's chambers in Winterfell there, and, perhaps. And I think you're right that that's what she's looking for under the bed or whatever. You know, yes. that scene, Craig, she kind of looks like she's scared or, like you said, um... Yeah, kind of paranoid from yeah, the wave. Yeah, paranoid from the wave. From, you know, or maybe, some, maybe she thinks something. Jackin's after her or something for leaving the Faceless Men. Although, he seemed very cool with it. So, I, I, I would imagine it's got something to do with Littlefinger's blade now. Um... Whoa, somebody yeah. uh, said something about Cersei standing on the neck and yeah, uh, yes. Where where was it? Right at? there, uh, Lowell seventeen. Yes, uh, yes, Lowell seventeen. Did you guys see trailer in the trailer? Cersei standing on the neck and Jamie standing on the fingers. Yeah, I said the neck thing, but I didn't catch the finger thing till after. He was not on the fingers. He was kind of to the right of them, but he was very close to the fingers. Right. So I did say the neck. I did point out the neck, but somebody in the comments did point out the finger part, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they uh, that's probably on purpose. It, I, it could be he wasn't on the fingers, but very very close. So definitely standing on the neck, and more importantly, I was saying in the in the trailer review, she was looking north. Absolutely. Just like the, the, you had the, the trailer or the, the camera on the table, Dragonstone panning north. Yes, you did. And, and she was mentioning, you know, Euron and basically just John and all the enemies of hers, you know, but it was on talking about the White Walkers, obviously. We've always said it, but seeing that trailer, doesn't that make you want a, tra a table like that so bad? Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. We'll get Chad when to do Stannis that. When was there, we kept saying, Yeah, we'll do God, that's, a, that's, that's a good project for Chad's channel. Oh, and he could do We're, that. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. He we'll, could absolutely we'll, make one of those. Absolutely, we'll do that for sure. I've got a couple here. All right, a couple super chats. Thank you. I'll see. Uh, Shemac14, thank, thank you. you so much. Um, greetings from Fort Bragg. Not far down the road. Not at all. Uh, keep up the hard work. I know these videos take time, and I love the entertainment. You guys deserve payment for it. Thank you. I watch you more than uh, I watch cable or Netflix. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yes, We it, enjoy doing this for you. That's the great thing about live streams. I do not have to edit anything. It just get it gets posted, but then again, you don't get all the pretty screenshots and the right. stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's, uh, I've worked more, at the, I've said it a million times to friends, I've worked more at this job than I ever did at a normal job. I can vouch it's for in, that. It's insane. And uh, sometimes you just got to get away for a few days, and that's usually when trailers drop, <laughs> when, I mean, when I leave. <laughs> for us to watch a movie together, I mean, he feels guilty. Yeah, it's just like you got to get away from the, the computer a while and editing and just sit down. All right. And uh, also another super chat from Wake Up Dead. Wake Up Dead. Awesome name. <laughs> Thank you, Wake Up Dead. Uh, Brienne's stunt double was seen in a photo of Winterfield's courtyard. Is she in some sort of danger at Winterfield needing a stunt double? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good question. It, it could be just uh, it could be some kind of trouble. Uh, also, it could be just a sparring match. Right. So, you know, you never know. I'm sure uh, that's a possibility. You know, maybe... 
her and Arya, you know, play around a little bit or something when she gets there. You never know, you know. So it, it, not necessarily there's going to be trouble there already in Winterfell, but you never know. I mean, they, they could shock us here, you know. We think everything's going to happen as far as the big war in, in you know, season yeah. eight, the end of season seven, the wall comes down, uh, and but it could surprise us. All right. Some um, people have to go this this season. That's the sad thing. Yes, that's true. That is true. Um, all right. Let's see. I thought I saw a uh, Q and A. Why was there only one drop? It's the only time he used three in one spot. That basically made everybody just shut the hell up and bow and bend the knee and give up their swords and and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's just probably the way it was cut. Um, as far as the uh, the editing there for this, the teaser. Uh, did we go uh, offline? Did I we think blink? We might have. Let's see. We're still going. I don't see any frame. Are everybody yeah, back? Everybody's saying did it go offline for everyone? Yeah. If if you're having if you can't see us, try to refresh. I don't see any any frames dropped or anything like that. And I see we're back now. Let me check everything. It looks like the hilt is good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think. So we're good. Okay. You see us. Everybody's back. Okay. okay good. Yeah. Good, if you good, do good, see a little good. blink or something like that, or it starts lagging, just refresh. Uh, I, I'll tell you guys for sure. If we have any problems. We were basically saying we think that the other two dragons were there and he was talking about the Field of Fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, I don't know if, how much you heard if we uh, missed there. Yeah, the Field of Fire originally was an, a thing with Aegon's Conquest where all three dragons were used, killed 4,000 people in one shot. And Only time they were, all three were in the one spot. And, yes, absolutely, instantly. And so, uh, anyway, so this could be a 2.0 of that, but I think – this is going to be in a reaction. It's not going to be Danny going crazy. Like, yes. you know, because Tyrion's going to keep her relatively balanced, I think. So I think it'll be a reaction to uh, the Lannisters and probably Highgarden, just just a guess. Um, let's see here. We have still offline. Amanda, refresh if you can. I'm showing everything good. Uh, yep. Somebody just said, hey, guys, please come back. Let, let me, let me while we're, just real quick, let me do this little... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not seeing any frames dropped or anything, but just want to make sure we're good. Uh, internet was good earlier. It's not storming here yet, so. All right. Okay, I think I think we're, we're good. All right. Let's see. Yes, keep pounding. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's going on this year with that. I'm offline. It's working fine. So people, if you, if you can't see us, we're still lagging or something like that, um, just try to refresh the page. Uh, we, it looks like we're fine on my end anyway. Uh, speeds, let's check that really quick. So we'll make sure we're good. It shows good. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, Marilyn says you're good. People just need to refresh. Yes, yeah. So if you're still, okay, we're good. Good deal. All right, cool. Uh, there's Carol Brown. Thank you, Carol, uh, by the way, for the letters last week. Um, Q&A. The Dothraki screamers look like they're having a ball in Lannisport in the trailer. What do you think? Is Westeros ready? Uh, well, we saw the Unsullied in, in Lannisport or Castle Rock, but, yeah, they looked like they had a blast on that field jumping off their horses, and I think that's Lannister men. So, yeah, they're going to have a blast because they're just going to tear shit up. Right. They're, and, and, and nobody can – nobody's seen these these knights and – and stuff. They never seen the Dothraki. No, they're they're not ready for that mm -mm. savagery. They're not ready for that. I don't think. All right. Um, Amanda Stewart, thank you. Says loving the side effect. Yes, I, I, I meant too. to say that again. If you're not aware yet, um, in a, it's a new podcast, the side effect. We have a separate YouTube channel, and that is with uh, me, uh, Val from Because Geek, Rorist, Tarzan from Trial by Trivia, and Kevin from the Bat Productions. We just did our second episode this week, and it is out. So please check out that channel. Uh, so thank you. Appreciate that. Um, let me check, actually, Streamlabs really quick. Um, I didn't, I saw some little uh, flashes there in the corner of my eye. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Jack Flash McLean. Is, or, is that McLean? Yes, Jack Flash McLean. Thank you so much for the donation to Streamlabs, but I don't see a question. So if you have a question, be sure to retype that. Uh, thanks so much for that. That goes towards Con of Thrones. <laughs> oh, Lord. Krista Mosher, Mosher says, James, you read my one comment that didn't have any question in it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I, I, maybe it just caught my eye and I didn't yes. see the other ones that had a question. I'm so sorry. Let's see here. Uh, Kyle Dove says, Q&A. This is a good question. This is why I saw this one. Uh, Q&A, does a werewolf have to be living 
to give vision a vision to brand. We've talked about Yeah, that. we've talked about this a little bit before, and uh, I, I don't think so. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, werewoods don't rot when they're cut down. Right. Because they, they kind of petrify. In the House of Black and White, there's a door, one of the doors, is werewood. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robin uh, of the Vale has a werewood throne, and that's there's there seems to be some indication there may be some links to because okay. you have Arya in the House of Black and White still having wolf dreams all the way across the sea. There you go. That may help that a bit in a way. Right. So I think it's indicated that it doesn't necessarily have to be alive to be still kind of a magical type of thing. But it's hard to say. They did get mad. The other hand, I guess you could say the other the, the counter argument to that would be. The children were pissed off they were cutting down trees in the first place. Right. So, uh, I don't really know for sure, but I would imagine. Uh, let's see. Um, Eli says, Q&A, hey, guys, do you, uh, you think the White Walkers could be reacting to the Targaryens losing the throne, a.k.a. Robert's Rebellion? Love the channel. Keep up the great work. Uh, yeah, Eli, actually, that was part of our – it was one of our guesses in A Dragon Race by Wolves was, you know, reacting possibly to John, but the other one was possibly – not necessarily a Targaryen losing the throne, but killing a Targaryen killing Ricard Stark and Brandon. That was a possibility to us about, you know, as far as, you know, some pact of ice and fire that was unsaid, even though there was technically going to be one as far as a marriage, right. but him killing two Starks, that could have started. Or I had said, you know, kind of going along with the Weirwood thing in another video a long time ago, because there's indication the, throughout the books that blood feeds the werewolves, right? We talked about that a million times. Yes. What if Robert's Rebellion itself did, you know, just through that many people dying? But then again, there's always been war. So it's uh, hard to say. I know what you're saying. But I think there's something to that. Oh, look at that. Somebody's on the side effect account there. Uh, three more likes to 200. Uh, I don't know. 200 tonight, I think. Oh, okay. Well, we got four. Oh, okay. We got viewers. Oh, yes, yes. We got 197. Okay, I see 197. 472 watching. That's what I kept seeing. All right. Greetings from Jamaica. Hello, Clinton. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Stacy 27. Tie dye birthday romper. <laughs> I heard that again earlier. I know, the romper thing. The romper thing is getting huge, and uh, they're wanting to see a tie dye romper. I may. I'm going to go buy a damn out. romper for Con of Thrones. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, let's see. Um, Natasha says, uh, hold on one second before let me grab it. Um, I hope Littlefinger lives long enough to see a white. I want to shit his pants when he realizes there's a legitimate threat to the entire kingdom. Yes, Natasha, I completely agree. Uh, as much as I want to see Arya do it or, or Brienne via Sansa's orders, I would like to see the supernatural element I, come into I it. I would, too. I would love to see that, too. And he would definitely shit his pants. Yes, just like he did when Cersei almost slit his throat. Uh, <laughs> there's Herb. Herb says, Q&A, tinfoil. Uh-oh, get ready. Put your hats on. Here we go. You think Arya will fight an embodiment of everything she almost became? Perhaps Jack and will kill Danny if Kyburn brings back the waif wearing Arya's face. Uh, yeah, Herb, that's too tinfoil man. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the waif's out of it. I, you know, I think that would be kind of a cool twist for it to be the waif the whole time, but she has no business in Westeros with her family. I know what you're saying. You know saying, what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that was her that, that died, and Arya's there. It's truly Arya. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think the waif's out of it. I think she's out of the picture. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Carol Brown, uh, Q&A, what do you think was causing the tight face on Cersei? You're on bringing forth the Sand Snakes. I think so. It could be, you know, um, the, the Iron Bank, but I think the way she was looking, like, I'm about mm-hmm. to kill somebody. She's like, she's about to sit, you know, the mountain. Right. Oh, how are you? Uh, hey, let's see. I think we just got a super chat. Uh, yes. yes, we did. Actually, is there a couple there? I think so. Um, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, like did I miss? Yeah, maybe we didn't. Yeah, yeah okay. Jack we did. Flash Mc- okay. Start right there. Jack Flash. Thank you, Jack Flash. Uh, do you think Littlefinger takes the White Walker seriously? What is your reaction to hearing about that after? Yeah, that's what we were, we were talking about last week as well, and just a minute ago, a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think he does. I just think nope. he's still so focused on the Iron Throne. He's he's going to be on one side of John's ear, like, look, Sansa's trying to do this, and he's over here on Sansa. Look, you need to take over. You're the Trueborn Stark. Yeah, and, and, and White Walkers are not in his thought process I, I don't, right now. I don't, at don't all. think they are. I mean, he he just I don't think he believes it honestly. So. Uh, that's what would be so. That would be poetic if if the Night King killed him, or a White Walker, or a White whatever, or a whole pack of them. That'd be great too. 
Uh, BLW22, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, when are we getting the tie-dye shirts? Yes, uh, they're coming. We're working on they're it. They're coming. So much going on with Con of Thrones, and then, of course, the trailer was in the, right. the podcast. So much going on. But, yes, we're going to finalize a tie-dye shirt. Uh, I promise you. There are the other smokescreen shirts up there in the store. The link is in the description. Anybody's interested, they're, right. they're still there. And I, I don't really mention them much, except when these strange when people ask about them. Um, also, a super chat from... Tom Barrett, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Do you think that it was uh, Taisha from the Iron Bank in the throne with the Cersei and Jane while they were looking all angry? Well, that's what I was saying, Tom. Uh, I, I think uh, we'll definitely see him, uh, but I, I, just, just, just that particular scene, Cersei was so pissed off. Yeah. It, it's probably Marcella's killers, uh, you know what I mean? I, so I just imagine. Now, I, will, I do think we'll see him there. He will definitely mm -hmm. show up and say, hey, you're going to have to pay us or there's going to be a problem. That could be him. Maybe he just threatened that. I could see that for sure. Like, look, we're about to back this Dragon Queen, and and if you don't pay up right, like tomorrow, yeah, that would cause. And, and then she could bull from that too. So yeah. yes, I, I could absolutely see that too. Uh, super chat from uh, Lazuli twenty one ninety nine. Uh, thank you, but there's thank no you question, very much. Lazuli. There's no question. I don't know if you meant to have a question there, but thank you so much. Also from Jamie, uh, is that Kiao? Uh, thank you, or Kyo. Thank you, Jamie. Q and A. Do you uh, from Vermont? Did you uh, did retweet meet the meet brand in the past? Did oh oh the RT? Um, who what am I missing? Is who's RT? Oh, Target Rhaegar. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually did a video on that, um, Jamie. Um, it was just kind of an idea, not really a. I don't really think it's a, a theory. It was just an idea about Rhaegar, perhaps maybe. Bran is not because there's something missing about the turning of Harrenhal. There's something small that we're missing, perhaps, and it may be a book thing, but maybe the the idea was kind of like, all right, what if he goes back and he has to now that John is the prince that was promised, he sees who he who how he's born, he finds yeah. out who he is and what he's got to do. Mm -hmm. He's got to go back and perhaps make sure they fall in love, that type of thing. Right? Yeah. I, I mean, I yeah. I. I I don't think they're going to do too much time stuff, but I could see a couple well placed ones. Right. Yeah. He's yes. Rhaegar was a pimp. Follow that and make sure that happens. All he had to do was strum that harp. Let's see. Uh, did, well, is Tars in here? I say somebody sent hello. Uh, Red Wall is sent hello to Trial by Trivia. Everybody's up in the house tonight. Uh, let's see Kinda what we like got. Marty McFly having to make sure his parents fall in love. Yes, yeah, it's almost, yeah, Back to the Future, exactly. That's probably where he stole it from. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Stacy's telling, I guess, Stacy 27 click the dollar sign. I guess she's telling somebody to use Super Chat. I saw somebody asking. Okay, all that. right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, Super Chat from Laura Smith. Thank you, Thank Laura. You, Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad to get an opportunity to support you guys. One random question, absolutely unrelated to everything. How did you two guys actually get to know each other? Uh, okay. Well, fair enough. Thank you uh, for the donation as well. Um, we went to the same high school. He was a couple, well, you went to two high schools. I did. You transferred. Mm -hmm. So you so you were So when two, I transferred to Chris's school, I was two years ahead of him. Yes. So we went to school together, but we really didn't know each other. I became friends with his cousin, and then Chris and I started working together. Right. And he helped me out with some very cheap auto parts for an <laughs> old van I used to have. And when he says cheap, <laughs> he means free. <laughs> but and that's an old different story. And yeah, we, we became fast friends. Yeah, so we worked together, and then we've worked together a lot of places since, actually. Sure enough. Uh, so, uh, and that's, damn, that's been many, many moons ago. It really has. Many, many moons ago. Uh, all right. Uh, super chat from Jason Weeks. Thank you, Jason. Warden of the North now. I hear you. Uh, just for fun, have you ever had a theory or prediction you were absolutely sure about, but it never happened? Um, that is a good question, Christopher. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, honestly, last year, uh, I had, I think most everything I guessed was pretty close. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've had any, because the books, just you know, the books, we still haven't got wins a winner. Mm -hmm. So, any, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in... As far as my theories go, I'm not too out there. I think this is a lot more straightforward than people think. So I'm pretty much in line with everybody else and just waiting too, for yeah. the answers. So I don't think I've had any far-fetched, tenfold things that hadn't happened or any pretty obvious things that hadn't happened either. I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's stuff I'm wrong about, sure, but I, don't, I can't think of any big theory or prediction. I think that's where people miss the boat. You have to read into some things, but not every minute detail. Yes, exactly. 
Yeah, uh, but yeah, Jason, I, I'm sure I have. I know I've been wrong on many things, but I don't. I don't know exactly. I'd have to go back now and see what I said or wrote down. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm sure I've been wrong about plenty. Believe me. Uh, so you thought Golden State Warriors were going to beat Cleveland last year? <laughs> you went with three to one lead. Yeah, you didn't think yes. they would? That was. I was very wrong about that. Yes. Uh, I thought we'd win the Super Bowl two years ago. I did. Too. I mean, you know, because oh. we we yes. Uh, Brandon White says uh, game Bowl Q and A. Will we get game Bowl? I don't think so, Brandon. I think uh, the mountain's going out some a different way. I don't think that uh, Sandor is no in, 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 like driven by that anymore. I agree. You know, we talked about his arc yeah, and how his and arc I, has changed. It, it's changed. It's not about revenge. He's actually you know part of something bigger than himself. Now, would I love to see that? Yes. But I also would love to see him not focus on revenge and killing. Because now, technically, he's kind of dead. You know, it's not really his brother anymore. Right. So his brother kind of died anyway by the Red Viper. And I don't see him. I mean, yeah, I would, you always want to see Let that. Let me ask but, you this. Will he be pissed if he sees what's happened, what they've done to his brother? You know, that's a good question. Because, te- yeah, I mean, he was an evil dude, but he's still his brother. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let him die. He absolutely you know? hated him. Yeah, exactly. It could be. That, that's, that's certainly possible. So I think that's his, his, more of his, uh, his arc now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dan London, big shout out to you guys. 3.46 a.m. in London. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, I, Dan. I, I know it's hard for people in the U.K. I, I, I understand. Uh, I just This is the time the show comes on, so it's the best time. to. Well, the show goes off, I should say, and we'll be going live during the season. Um, let's see here. Uh, Todd Brown says, Q&A, whose death would be the most tragic in your opinion? Tyrion. I, I, I think so, in my opinion. No, I, th- I think you're right. Because, I, I mean, I just want him so bad to be at the end of this thing, being, you know, sipping on Imp's Delight, like we said a million times. I just, I, I love him. I love Tyrion. He's he's awesome. And, I mean, we've seen John die and come back, and, you know, I'd hate to see Danny die, and I'd hate to see, I'd love to see with Jamie's arc and, you know, him get rid of Cersei. I, I'm going to hate to see that, too, now, if that happens that way. But Tyrion a would have to be at the top of my list. Uh, Davos. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Theon. He's been through enough. I agree. You know? Yeah, but Theon would almost be a... a <laughs> mercy killing? Yeah, mercy killing, exactly. <laughs> uh, Tarzan's try by trigger. Chris, turn the mic. James sounds further away. We, we can yeah, slide that. I talk loud because I'm half that. deaf, so I can slide that a little closer to you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's yeah, see. let's try this for a little bit. Like yeah, this. Davos. People are saying Davos. Absolutely, Davos and uh, Gendry even. Uh, let's see here. Uh, King Slayer uh, Q and A. Do you? Th- uh, oh, let me grab it. It's rolling up the screen. Uh, Q and A. Who would you guys like to be the first high-profile kill? Hmm. In season you know seven, you got somebody on your list. Man, uh, high-profile man. I. I I would like to see, I don't know if you consider it high profile, but I'd like to see Kyburn get it quick. Yeah. Because like he's like Cersei's right hand now and she's the super villain. That that would that would be a good he's one. He's not actually. really I guess I don't know if he's you know he's he's pretty main character now, pretty much a main character now, but i he's that smirk on his face pisses me off. Right. And when he takes control of the birds, I want Varys to still really have control of the birds. Do too. <laughs> yeah, I do you know too. what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want him to get yeah, because he's kind of a dick. And you know, uh, so, everybody's saying Littlefinger, and I yeah, know everybody sure, wants but, that, but yeah, but there's I, a part of me that yes. I want him to die, but later I want to see some shit unfold. Yes, exactly. You know, Kyber, we need to get it the right way. Kyber, we can go go ahead and get rid of. I think so. Yeah, yeah, Littlefinger for sure. He's going to go. I I, I feel it, but we'll see. Oh, Dragon says check super chat. Dragon fifty oh, okay. six, sixteen says check super chat. Uh, let's see. Damn, we do. Oh, have okay, some we more. do. Yeah, a couple popped in yeah, here. There, okay, there's Dragon. Thank you, Dragon. Fifty six sixteen. Thank uh, you. How do you make a te- tequila sunset? A tequila grenadine and sun drop. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Instead of a tequila sunrise, that's hell, awesome. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I might. Have to, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna write that down. Um, which I'll three drink, characters? You actually have a question here, though. <laughs> which which three characters you're most certain will be alive in episode six of season eight? Which three dead? Alive. Certain. Tyrion. Man, this is this is a hard one. Danny. Uh, Danny. Tyrion, Danny. And I'm going to say Gendry for certain. That just because I think 
I don't think. I don't John, know. Maybe, I don't. I don't see. John. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would. I would guess that he would make it because of being the bastard and coming up, and you know, being. I think Lord of Storms and stuff like that. Uh, dead. Everybody. Everybody else. I mean, it's not. There's not going to be many people left. Uh, this is going to be a bad, a pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. What do you yeah. think? Have you ever said what you think is going to happen to Howland Reed? Um, yeah, no, I never actually, no, I haven't. As far I know as you what, say how it's going to influence everything. Yeah, but I've never really thought about him dying off. That's true. Um, yeah, I wouldn't imagine he's going to make it either. He'll show up and do what he needs to do and, and be, be killed somehow or another. Um, uh, let's see. Also, Karen Gates, Super Chat. Thank you, Karen. Uh, serious Q&A. Do you think Germ has actually finished both Wins and Dance, or Dream of Spring, and he's just waiting for the show to finish for releasing them? That uh, is a theory. People yeah, are that, starting that's, to... Yeah, I said that a while back. I don't, you know, it, it was just a, kind of as a joke, really, that maybe he's just trolling everybody and he's got both. Yeah. And and then he'll release them or whatever, but... Is it starting to gain more weight with you now? No, not really. Okay. Because I honestly think he's just that slow. He's said it so many times. Wow. And he's, he just does too many other things, which he did cut back a lot on his schedule as far as going to cons and stuff to get it done. But he's missed two deadlines already, or two or three with Winds of Winter. Mm -hmm. So I think he's honestly just that slow. Now, does he have possibly parts of Dream, you know, as far as like maybe taking chapters from Winds to move them up and, you know, change things around? Sure, mm -hmm. possible. But I, I don't I don't think so. Um, anyway, I think a, another Super Chat, Top Shelf Underground again. Thank you. Thanks so um, much. Any chance Danny and John can outright defeat the others or it will be another deal? Do you think the Far North will thaw like Brand's vision of the past? We've yeah, talked about this. That's, uh, that's the Dragon Raised by Wolf series. That's it, That was kind of the, the choices. Um, do, you, do you kill the ultimate evil, so to speak, since they're the nuclear option and actually get rid of it and see if man makes the same choice? Or do, you, or do they have the right to live because they were created? And you more or less dismantle it. Yes. The, the nuclear option. Because right. Because we talked about in, in, in Dragon Raised by Wolves that uh, maybe... They want that. Yeah, yeah. Or did they want their freedom? Right. In a sense, you know, as far as their humanity, or they didn't choose that life. No, no. Now they're running rampant with the <laughs> life they have. Yes. But um, yeah, we talked about a possible deal and uh, history did. repeating itself. History repeating itself at the God's Eye, mm -hmm. which is, I think, uh, I'm fairly sure. I mean, you know, that could be one of the, another theory going wrong, but the location of where it's going to end. And that would be, you know, a, another place for a pact if that happened. I think just like great. in the past. Yeah. So, yeah, it's hard to say. I would, I would just guess if I had to guess right now. I do think this is more straightforward. I do think he's going to die, but it's going to, of course, be the because there is the bittersweet thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think that you, I think you have to get rid of the nuclear option, but I can also still see a deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can because John. In other words, what I, I guess what I'm saying is, why is John so special if he's just going to talk to him and her Amen, and say, make a, make a deal? Amen. You know what I mean? So he's got to do something magical. Yes. Do you see a scene maybe where, as the spell is coming off, he at least says thanks or something I, I like that? I could see that, yeah. I, I could absolutely see that if he if that's what they're after. I could absolutely see that. That would be kind of cool, actually, to get his point of view, some point of view, before he's dead. Yeah. And because we, we have no point of view in the books. As a matter of fact, there is no Night King in the books. You know, it's the old Night's King story. There's no de facto leader. Uh, also, Super Chat from uh, BLW22. Again. Uh, thank you again. Thank uh, you. Ned Stark more like dead Stark. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> he is dead, and no, he didn't warg in the birds. <laughs> Bless his heart. Also, Romeo E., thank you so much. Uh, Popeyes or KFC? Well, we, we, just, uh, we just did KFC yesterday. Yes, we uh, did. There, actually, is, there's not many Popeyes in this area. No. Nope. There, there are a few, I think. Yeah, now, we had they, one open up. It and was it closed. booming for a while and then closed down. Yep. I did like, I like KFC's chicken better. I did like Popeye's sides a lot. They seem to have more variety. Yeah, but in this area, Romeo, it's really Bojangles. Yeah, Bojangles. Bojangles I don't know. And KFC. I'm not sure if that's big. Any is that in the South only? I don't really that's know. A good I think question. So. I think it, more like Bojangles around here. But yeah, there is KFC, obviously. Uh, also, Nick uh, Pagalone, I think, or Pagalone. Uh, thank you, Nick. There is no question there, Nick. So I don't know if you had a question. Be sure to type that again if you did. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me double Ooh. check. Uh, well, Somebody says check Streamlabs. I was going to tell you. Oh, okay. I, I said, James, do you have a dog? And please check Streamlabs. So while you're checking, uh, yes, I have two. Unfortunately, right now, I can't live with them. Uh, but I have a, um, 
a Shih Tzu named Tito. We named him Tito because we got him the day Michael Jackson died. Yeah, right. And uh, we have a uh, half Yorkie, half weenie dog named Buster. And uh, I love him to death, but Chris's dog Riddick has uh, filled that hole in my heart. He's an awesome, <laughs> awesome dog. Yeah, and he's laying over here upside down. As always. Uh, as always. Assume the position. Yes. For, uh, he knows streaming. when we pull out all this shit, he knows what's going on. He just goes and lays the hell down. He's mad. All right, yes. Uh Streamlabs donations. Thank you, Lowell. One, two, three I think we got two. Three. Uh well we had well, Jax before, yeah, that's right? right? That's okay, right. so Lowell. Uh Lowell, I'm sorry. Um uh, thank you so much. Who was Cersei say blew up the sip? She will try to pin it on the sand snakes and Dorn. Before I get uh, started getting on this live chat, I thought it was going to be big, uh, big. He, uh, it was going, it was big Sensi. Okay, it wasn't until last week I learned big Sensi love the accents. Oh. Uh, okay, big like sen Sensei, uh, like uh, martial oh, arts oh, Sensei. Oh, oh, you or thought something. it was Sensei? I got you. Okay, I got you. Yes, yeah, big Sensi. Um, yeah, I think she will blame it on High Garden. I think she will blame it on the Martell. Uh, I'm sorry, the the Tyrells. Uh, if she if she does you know say oh it wasn't me, she'll blame it on the Tyrells, uh, and uh, that's what I think that's what we're going to see. Um, as far as a uh, a battle, uh, I don't want to I don't want to. It's just speculation. I haven't confirmed. It's not you know leaks or anything like that. But I think that's going to happen. We kind of saw if you saw the teaser, you saw if, if you saw the Lannisters fighting Dothraki, and the Lannisters were coming from somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But if in fact, because um, people are comparing her to uh, the Mad King. Yes. Okay. The Mad Queen, they're calling her. Right. Would she not wear that as a badge of honor at some point? Yeah, I think she's pretty much there. I think she's she, there. Yeah, she she may actually just go straight, not, not actually deny it. Like, look, this is, this is what happens if you fuck with me. That That's what I was kind of thinking. But I could yeah. also see, because there are, you know, although they don't show all these minor houses, she still has to have some kind of support in King's Landing for people to actually, you Good know, be her Queen's point. Guard and yes. the people to actually not revolt. So sense. she could very well blame it on somebody, Absolutely. and I can see that happening. Also, Lori Perry, thank you for the donation through Streamlabs. Do you think John and Lady Stoneheart will eventually come to blows for Winterfell? Book question, of course. Um, honestly, I don't think Lady uh, Stoneheart, I think Arya may take her out in the books because that's not her mom anymore. Right. I, I think there's going there's to be a little twist there with that, so I don't. I don't necessarily think that she makes it to Winterfell. She's already getting to the point now where people are leaving the Brotherhood. They don't like what she's doing. They're all about revenge, or she is, and uh, they're not about that. So I, I think she gets taken out earlier than that. Uh, let me double check. Uh, okay, and also Ethan Hunt, thank you, Streamlabs. Um, thank you, bud. Hello again, guys. This is kind of off topic from recent Got News, but I, uh, but uh, something Jackin. If, if Jackin. Oh, if, okay. If Jackin is no one, why was he concerned when Ari gave him his uh, his name back in Heron Hall, if I was Jack and I would have been a smart ass and said a man has no name, how do you get and how he got how to get caught? Yeah, I, I think that was just, um, you know, you he he had to say you have to identify the person for the three, right? I, th I think it was an uh, an honest thing where he was like, okay, he was in that prison cell. Yes, I'm sure he was called on purpose mm -hmm. or on his own accord to go on some mission. That's Arya saved thinking. him, and therefore he owed three lives to the, the you know, to Relore, the Red God, because he, they, he considers you, death, you know, death by fire, to be the Red Gods. Okay. So, you, you know, I give you three names because we should have died basically. So, I mean, I think that's, I think it's just as straightforward as that, honestly. Um, if you're asking why, you know, he had a name, and that was just his, his who he was playing, because yeah, we don't really know who Jacken actually is. That's yeah. just what we call him to identify him. So, uh, so thank you for that. Let's see. Let me double check this really quick. And uh, okay, yeah, another uh, super chat from Patrick. Yeah, uh, is that Patrick Cronholm? Cronholm. Yes. Uh, thank you, Patrick. Morning from Sweden. Hello Good there. Morning. Uh, Q and A. Dragons create magic. Bar 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 Barris really hates magic. So is really Barris on a Danny side, or is, uh, she has stepped to do something else? Well, I don't think dragons create magic. I think they are magical. They do enhance it, it seems, but I don't. I think they're just part of magic coming back. So you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So magic's a thing, and then the magic. You know, Danny did the right trick with the blood magic. Yes. With Miriamaz, Dur yeah. Drogo, and the and the eggs. Yeah. And her walking in, 
and that was just like a one-time thing, you know, kind of lucky. I don't yeah, know if she even really accidental. knew. Yeah, she kind of thought that it may happen, but she wasn't sure. Right. So then, of course, when they came back, that kind of enhanced magic. I think the blood is kind of the secret. I think yes, she thought absolutely. this is going to work. Yes. Didn't realize it would take. Exactly. Yeah. I think so. So I think she stumbled upon the secret there, and then uh, it kind of enhanced magic once they were back. So they didn't create it, I don't think. But uh, So Varys, as far as Varys goes, he does hate magic because of what happened, but I think he's learned from Kenvar in season six that, yeah, that's true. If I would have never got cut, root yeah. and stem, <laughs> Carol, root and stem, <laughs> um, that, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing. Of course, it's Aegon in the books and all that, but exactly. I think we'll get to the same point. So, yeah, uh, so I think he is on Danny's side. He's been going from the very get-go, from the, the very first season, with Illyrio about Danny in the in the show at least, so I think he's really on her side. Uh, let's see here, Marilyn I Bentley. Think, Marilyn Bentley, thank you, Marilyn. Thank uh, you so much. Tinfoil thoughts on Kyber using some of Tywin's body parts to bring the mountain back. Chris knows in the book there's much talk about the bad Tywin's body smell at the funeral, despite Pycelle saying he prepped the body right. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. There's a theory in the books that that the mountain is hmm. actually basically Tywin kind of trapped in his body really with his consciousness and he can he can only listen and do things he can, but he can like see it all wow and, and he's probably living in like a living hell and there was something about his body not smelling right when Pycelle had apparently prepped it correctly I'll be damned so I don't I don't really buy that honestly but I I guess it could happen so I think it is a little too tinfoil but um the question is with the whole mountain thing is in the books, especially is it was that his skull they sent to Dorn? You know, was it not? He don't even have a head that we know of in the books. Uh, yeah, you've told me. Uh, that. I've lost my mouse here. Apparently, let me try to plug that back up. Probably the battery. I have to change batteries. Uh, so thank you, Marilyn, and we have a bug on our screen. Uh, Rod Lyons says also super chat. Thank you, Rod Lyons. Thank uh, you. What will Gendry's fate be? Will he and Arya meet? I think they will. Yes. I think they will. Um, and I think that Gendry will be raised to Lord of Storm's End. Yes. Whether he survives or not, that's a whole different question. But I think him being a bastard and kind of embracing him, being you know, accepting the truth of being Robert's son. And he was one that came to your mind when they said, what's the three you think will be in? So you kind of feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because Danny needs that political alliance, for and, sure. Uh, and you do believe him and Ari is going to meet. I do think they'll meet. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I don't think there's. I don't necessarily believe there's going to be this big love story thing because Arya is Arya. Because Arya is Arya. But he's and that's too clean almost. But then again, you want to see the Baratheons get back, and you know, and uh, you want to see Arya kind of, you know, I don't know, settle down a bit, I guess, in a way. But maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I do think Gendry uh, will be raised to. Uh, Danny needs those political alliances, and, she, and she, it would be good for her to get House Baratheon kind of back on her side, and in good graces. Uh, Doyle fan, super chat, awesome channel. Thank you, Doyle fan. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Top shelf underground again. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, do you think Cersei will repeat what happened to uh, Ricard and Brandon Stark with the Sand Snakes? Do you think she'll start using wildfire on everyone? Good point. She loves to watch shit burn, especially in the books. That's very possible. I definitely think wow. she's going to. She's going to kill them. Um, I ho I'm thinking Yara may escape this somehow or another. So I hope, at least I hope so, but I think the Sand Snakes are, are, are gone. And that would be a great parallel to that. that a would lot be great. of things do repeat themselves, yes. and that would be crazy right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Uh, also, a super chat from Patrick. Uh, again, Cronome again. Yeah, Thanks again, a lot. Thank you. Uh, thank you for replay. Yes, no problem. Thank you. Appreciate really? that. Uh, all right. And really quick, so we're at, what, we're at an hour already. Yeah, already oh, at damn yeah. hour? Damn. Yeah. That is fast as hell. Let me double check uh, really quick. Uh, Streamlabs, and we're going to take a quick break, and then we will come right back. Okay, so we're good there, I believe. Uh, yes. All right. All right, so I think we're caught up with uh, Super Chats and all that really quick. So while we're caught up, and let me go back here a second. Was that UFC in Sweden that we watched? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Sweden, oh, it but... was that. Yeah, because it was that time. It started in the morning here. Right. Yeah, 10 a.m., right? Something like that. Right. Or 1 in the afternoon. Uh, yes, Corey, exactly. No. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hang around, guys. We're almost at 600 people. Keep hanging out. We'll be back in just a few minutes, and we'll keep on going because I think Absolutely. a lot of people are off. Yeah, I think Nobody's so. Nobody's got to go to work, right? Memorial Day. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. We'll be right back.
Damn it. Okay. I'm sorry. That's, that's my bad. I'm I'm unprofessional. I muted I, I, I muted it. I we had hit to the change button. batteries in the mouse too. Yes, change batteries in the mouse because I lost it, and then I apparently clicked that twice and unmuted it and muted it right back. So what I was saying is uh, really quick before we get back to the questions. Uh, thank you, Christina Sauls, new Patreon. Thank you so thank much you. for the monthly pledge. Uh, Samuel Dillon. Sound again? Holy crap. Okay, did we did we have sound now? I just unmuted it. Okay, I guess it turned how did it turn down? Did I hit a button? Okay. We got it, we got it, we're back. No sound. Everybody's saying no uh, sound. It's just not catching up though. It's probably twenty minutes, twenty seconds behind. Can you hear us now? Rest in peace, Mike. Uh oh, no sound again. Chris turned into Okay, there we go. Now they're starting to say okay. Sweet. So it called up. Sorry guys, sorry guys. I clicked uh the, the mute button twice apparently and unmuted and then and then it went back to mute. So let, okay, for the third time <laughs> and then uh for the third time, uh let me say thank you really quickly. Yes. It, it, I was what I was trying to say, it was Christina Sauls, thank you so much, and you Patreon. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Christina, for that. Uh that's a, a monthly thing on Patreon. Uh, also, Samuel Dillon for the donation through PayPal. And that Thanks all goes so to much. Kind of Thrones Fund. So thank you so much. And Hoonjive. Get cheese on our Whopper. Yeah, that's right. Hoonjive, thank you so much for the upgrade on Patreon to Executive Producer. And uh, for not wearing we the... We will the, never wear rompers yes, ever. Yes, those, those damn things. I keep forgetting what the hell they're called. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Now that we have sound, I hope everybody heard that this time. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Also, yeah, everybody be sure, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. If you don't have an account, create one real quick and subscribe and give us a like there. That'll that'll help. Uh, appreciate that. So, um, Kiki Rosalius. Okay, Super Chat. Yes, Kiki. Uh, what will happen to this channel when the series ends and we were still making content? I hope so. By the way, first time I'm catching the stream. Oh. Yes, thank you so much, Kiki. Uh, yeah, um, first of all, I will, I've, I've been doing other things such as Westworld, mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to, I don't know how soon it's going to start, but there'll definitely be a spinoff coming and probably more than that, so we'll continue with that as well. But I will definitely pivot to some other things. Um, looking at other stuff now that I've got to check out, like American God still. Right. Tarzan has told me about it, and I, I need to watch it. I love the idea of it. I love the book stuff, but I need to, I need to see if the show's going to pan out. We've been collecting swords and armor and stuff, and we may do uh, live Game of Thrones skits. Yeah, yeah there we go. That's the what we're going to do. After Ex exactly. Is. Exactly as planned. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely keep going, Kiki, for sure. Uh, I mean, this is kind of what I, I kind of have to. <laughs> um, also, thank you, Stacy 27 Super Chat. Um, hey, guys, have you seen the Entertainment Weekly interviews uh, start reunion info? Hope you have fun at the con. So jealous. I've seen uh, those yeah. pictures, but I haven't seen the interview. Same here. I, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to read anything. Uh, so I, I'm. I, I don't know honestly what's in it, or if they're going to give that much away anyway. You could tell it was about a Stark reunion. Yeah. Uh, because of the. the it's so crazy too. You see the. You remember season one? All these little kids. I know. You know even John was so young, and Rob, and now you're wow. seeing all these. You know. They're so old. They've grown up so much, and and, and it's, Brand it's crazy. especially, you know. Yeah. Do you agree? He was the it, smallest little thing, and now he's like what six foot six. At I least don't know he's so big. He is. Uh, he's tall, man. Um, uh, American Gods. Yes, I, I, de I definitely want to check it out for sure. I think it might be. I, I love that kind of shit anyway. And when it goes into real lore about old gods, yeah, I mean it's kind of. I, I love the idea. Um, all right, let me double check Streamlabs before we get back to those questions. Uh, I think we were good here. Uh, no, do we have, uh, is this a new one here from Dylan? Yes. It is new, yeah. Uh, thank you, Dylan, through Streamlabs. Dylan Art, uh, is thank that you. Arnett? I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Uh, thank you, Dylan. How do you think Tyrion's relationship with Sansa, John, and Bran will come into play when Danny meets the Starks? Uh, Sansa and John appear to recall Tyrion in a positive light in the POVs. Right. Yep. That's what um, I'm thinking. Will anything uh, come of Sansa and Tyrion's marriage? I think so. I think that's more I likely the so. route because you had the whole thing. They didn't have to include the, the conversation, books or show, 
of Marjorie and Sansa talking about Tyrion right. and how he's treated her well and you know all that kind of stuff. Although Tyrion in the books is a little less friendly. He's not a, he's not this super clean character like they really portray in the show. But yes, he has tr- he, he does generally is generally good person. But we're kind of we're kind of pulling for that to happen. Yeah, I, I am. I, I, he's I think, a changed man and yes. She's a changed woman, actually. Yeah, she I, was I, snobby and shit when they got together the first time, and you know she was dealing with all these recent deaths. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, look, look. I mean, I've said it. I've said it a million times on this channel. I, I, Catelyn, I can't stand Catelyn. Right. Sansa's the second least favorite star, but she's designed that way as far as the right writing in the books and the show for that matter. But you know, I'm I'm liking. I'll, I'll definitely when she finally steps up. I'll, I'll I'll dig it. You know what I mean? Oh, I know you will. Yeah, I, know you I, will. I want her to step. Which you want obviously her to. this year she will. But and in, in when I see her like play Littlefinger, that's going to put it over the edge, and I'll be back to like right. you know. Yes, okay, we have House Stark's back. Um, so yes, um, as far as the uh, yes, yeah, so I think Tyrion, uh, you know, Tyrion's going to and John got along great. Tyrion, a lot of respect, mutual respect. Sure. So that's going to be a good you know meeting when that comes up. So I think that'll go actually pretty good, and that will kind of help Danny and John get a little closer via proxy, via Tyrion. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, John Stevens Q and A. This is a pretty good. This is a, a different question. Uh, th- uh, Q and A. John Stevens. Think Davos puts aside the burning of Princess Shireen when running into Melisandre to band together and fight the White Walkers, or? Is she barking up the wrong onion tree? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've actually thought about that. I mean, I hadn't like come to a conclusion yet, but I put. I thought, you know, he he didn't kill her right there on the spot. Right. You know, when when he when he found out and walks in there, he went kind of went to John almost to get permission. If he was really, I mean, he's enraged, obviously, but he did the right thing by just not going after directly and choking her. Right. So he went to the king in the north and, you know, got his, you know, permission, basically, like, I want to kill her, I'll do it, I'll execute her, but he sent her off. So yeah, I would think the way Davos is, he would. He would put that aside because she, he's got to realize at some point, okay, she really believed that it was going to save the world now that he's on board with that. You would think he would, but he'd never forget it. He'll never forget yeah. it. He put a lot aside, you know, with dealing with Stannis. He did. He, you know? he put a lot so aside. He's period. able to do that. Yeah, he's a, very, much, very much so. And sun dying and everything. Because honestly, Davos just wants to go home. He's got a wife and kids. He just wants to go home. But he was just, you know, sworn to Stannis and, you know, for kind of raising him up. So, I think so. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Serp. Is that Serpigoit? I, I can't. Oh, it's flying up the screen. Hold on. I'm trying to catch it. Serpogu? Serpogu. Uh, Serpogu. Serpogu. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Q&A, do you think Littlefinger will tell John his birth parents or Hall and Reed? Uh, I think, um, I don't. I'm not sure Littlefinger knows. Yeah, I don't think he knows the full story. I do think he knows, obviously, Rhaegar didn't kidnap Lyanna. Right. So I'm not sure he knows that. Uh, if he does know, he'll definitely use that against him somehow. Or, or you know what I mean? He'll use that to his advantage. So I think it, I think it's more likely a Hall and Reed brand thing. Uh, brand obviously already knows, and Hall and Reed will kind of confirm that. I think. Uh, that makes that makes a lot of sense. It does. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. All right, super, super chat, chat from T Hughes. Thank you, T Hughes. Thank you, T Hughes. <clears throat> uh, what do you think Benjamin is going to get up for the rest of the story? Maybe he will play a part in John and Company's northern expedition to help out sacrifice himself some way. We've talked about this. Yeah, you know, I, I really think that's. I think you're dead on, man. The sacrifice I, part. Yeah, yeah, I think you're dead on, T. Hughes. I think that's really all he can do. Honestly, he's, I, I don't. He's done otherwise, you know. Yeah, because when mean, we talk about when the spell's broken, if in fact that's what happens at yes. the end, it directly affects him. Yeah, because if that magic's kind of broke, well, I don't know. The question is, is the if the spell's broken, say, on the on the, the wall, mm-hmm. right, you know, he could still come down, right, and be alive. Can, right. But at the end of this thing. End of it, yeah. Yeah, if the magic's broken, that spell, if that happens, that magic is keeping him alive. It is. So, yeah, I mean, I think his story's pretty much done. And I think he, he was there that to save coming. Brand. So he'll go out in a blaze of glory doing something. Yeah. He'll sacrifice himself. I, I really I believe think, you're on to it. I think so. I think, yeah, so I think you're dead on. I think that's it. You, you you answered your own question. So, uh, Barbara Hernandez, super chat. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thanks uh, a lot, I do Barbara. not see a question there, though. I don't know if you meant to have a question. Uh, if you did, please please retype that in the chat. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Jason Place's uh, question just got deleted by Nightbot because it was all in caps, but it said, yeah, let's what see. do you think the Hound's next move okay, is? Okay, I just, oh, okay, yes. Jason, that's the only reason it, it times you out there is it's all caps. You just got to type no more cap, uh, without so many capitals. Um, I need to adjust that stuff. But anyway, what do you think the Hound's, I, I think it's 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 kind of the, we, we've talked about this a little bit. Um, you know, I think he's down with the Brotherhood. I think he's right. down with being a part of something bigger. I, I think agree. that's part of his story arc. And so he's definitely going to head north and, and do what he's got to do and, and take the focus off this old brother, you know, brotherly rival. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I think that the game bowl will not happen. Yeah. If I would have to guess. And he, he's kind of willing to get in where he fits in and, yeah. and be a part of this thing. And, and we talked about before too, like him and maybe even a Gendry type uh, character reunion with Arya changes her idea of what's going on in the world, you know, right. getting her back on, on, on the path. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I thought I say I saw a Q, uh, question in super chat. Pre. Yes, Pre for Guerrero. Thank Thanks you, so Pre. Much, Pre. Uh, thank you. Uh, hey guys, hope you're not. I'm not too late. No, we are. We're still going. Still mm -hmm. going. A quick Q and A. Do you think the fact that George Martin has ruled out Robert Van spinoff means that he will get some of this get some of this season? Thanks, and I missed you. Hey, it's a good question. Yeah, I think that's kind of what he said. He said that by the time that we finish Winds of Winter. And uh, a dream of spring, probably 20, 30 years from now, um, that will know <laughs> everything that happened to Robert Sabin as far as so, so he don't want to tell that story. Now, I will say I don't really quite agree with that mm -hmm. because basically you had four books, five books, and then we saw the whole story anyway in the whole show. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I still want to see it. You know, a lot of people probably do. So I think that does kind of indicate that we will see some things in Robert Shabay and maybe in flashbacks or whatever. Whatever Brand needs to know, whatever's important will be shown. Yeah, what he needs. I, what I he agree needs with that. to know. And not everything, obviously. Yeah, not every part of. Yes, yeah. we'll see probably a lot more in the books, but yeah, I, I, I think I think you're dead on, Pre. Um, Mike Bushnell. Mike, Thanks, Mike bud. Uh, sexier Zombie Mountain or White Ramsey? Oh. <laughs> um, Damn it, man! I hate to answer this. You know what, Mike? I got. I'm just going with the Zombie Mountain. Only I was going to go with Zombie Mountain too, only because I don't think too much of Ramsey's going to be left to turn. I mean, if, if that ha you know, if that happens, yeah, is that what you were thinking? No, I was thinking the the armor. That new armor is <laughs> sexy true. as hell. Yeah, you that, pointed it out in that. Yes, uh, but now I meant to say in the damn trailer review that yeah. I completely, I, you know, it was one of my smart ass lines. But I, I did it different gaming style, so I didn't do the zoom in thing. But you know, the armor looks great on everybody else. Uh -huh. But with his big ass head, that he looked like a Cylon. Part. Yeah, he looked like a fucking Cylon. He did. Cylon. He, he, he just needed the, the yeah, light. That's the light. all you needed. was the damn light. So yeah. or kind of like <laughs> you remember Fat Albert's friend with the toboggan yes, down over yes. his head. Someone else mentioned that too. Oh, yes. did they really? In the chat, in the in the comments, yes. Absolutely. So <laughs> I got to go with the mountain just for the, you're right, the armor too. Uh, Shemak14, super chat. Thank you, Shemak14. Cersei mentions in the books having been obsessed with Rhaegar and Rizzi thinking the wrong man came back from the Trident. Thoughts? Yeah, I mean, basically she was, you know, that was her whole thing. She knew she was going to, you know, marry Rhaegar, the first, you know, being the prince, the crown prince and all right. that. And that was her, her fantasy. And then, you know, that was, so she was kind of on his side in a in a way mentally yeah. when Robert's Rebellion broke out, even though uh, because Tywin didn't pick a side till the end. Yeah, yeah. he didn't so need to. He, he was the Lannister set up there. The Lannister set there and just said, "Okay, I'm just going to see who's going to win, and then I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of that." And that's what got back at the Mad King for taking a, for not saying certain no to Cersei. He said no. Okay. And that's why Tywin set out of the war until that's and then right. went and screwed screwed him by, by sacking King's Landing. So uh yeah, so in that sense, yeah, she was like just thinking, No, that was my man and then she but then she adored Robert until she he found out she found out kind of how he really was. Yeah. Being a drunkard and all that good stuff. Cause he was the handsome, tall, dark beard knight too, right? So Yeah. Uh badass. Uh, and also a super chat from Kiki uh, Rosellis. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Kiki. Um, a question, do we do you think we'll know the true ending if Germ dies? I think, I, yeah, we were talking about how this was, we was talking about this on a podcast last week. It, you know, 
are people sensitive about asking that? Is it a legitimate question? I think it's a legitimate concern. I understand not asking George R. R. Martin that directly. Right. You know, don't be an asshole. But yeah, I think she has a. Uh, I think he has a, an inner circle that knows. Uh, so like uh, you know, I don't know if Ilio and Linda know that much. I'm sure his editors and and I know Dan and Dave do. Because we're going to see it. You, it's going to it's going to be in the show. I have to ask you this: Do you think that when you write something or when you you know imagine something this epic in your mind, okay, yeah, it's stretched out hard, like, do, yeah, like um, Lucas with Star Wars, right? Do you have the exact end in mind when you're writing the beginning, in the middle, or does it kind of morph over time? I think so. I think you have with, to stew on it for. I a while. think with his style, he has you know. I think it's like you have a general idea, and then as you start writing it, and it became so big. Yes. Then things start to change, and you go kind of okay. I was going in this direction now because his original That's what out, I think too. his original outline was completely different. You, okay, you, you can see in some of the changes, like you had an Arya John love triangle and Tyrion in, in the that original is outline. Easy to think about. Yeah, ain't it? and that completely changed even in the book. So yeah, absolutely. I think he he kind of has a, a vision, and then he just kind of goes with whatever happens, you know, and, and what he needs to change. Uh. Let's see. I thought I saw another super chat. Yes, uh, Sammy G Baby eighty five. Thank you, Thank you Sammy Q and A. Do you think John or any of the Starks will find out about Littlefinger betraying Ned and being the reason he's killed? If so, how will it come out? Maybe yes. Bran. Uh, I think Bran can see that, and I don't think there was anybody there to witness any of that in the in the in, you know as far as the, the betrayal, obviously, because Sansa was somewhere else. Um, Arya was practicing with with Sirio at that time, but they will find out via uh, uh, Bran because he a can vision. he can see it. Mm -hmm. uh, That's and, what I believe. And, and then that will be you know, and, and I think Bran will get together with San, with Arya and convince Sansa like, look, I, you know, Sansa already knows he's an asshole, but find out about that and that's what'll trigger it. Oh, because you know he can't go back and look at everything. He needs somebody to kind of give him some pieces and then go, hold on a second. Yes, and then he Boom. can check. Like, he, he wouldn't know where to check. Right, until he, yes, right. Until he hears something. Exactly. So, yep, absolutely. Uh, let me double check Streamlabs really quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, is this a new one from Ethan? I think it is. Uh, Ethan Hunt. Thank you, Ethan. Thanks again, a lot. Uh, for the Streamlabs donation. What is the saddest death in the story for you both? Elia's death is the saddest for me. Just imagining her thoughts. She watched her kids die. Uh, couldn't, couldn't do anything to stop it. Breaks my heart thinking how many times that happened in real life. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't disagree with that. Uh, it, that's horrible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, her, the kid thing, it makes sense. That is they, terrible. And they really, really hammer that in the books. And, in, and even in the show... There's there's a few mentions of it, so that that that's definitely one at the top of the I have pretty two, and we've talked about this in yeah. one of the videos uh, about our dying. Um, Stan is killing his daughter, and yes. um, the way uh, Ned's brother and father went out. Yes, that's just those are both so sad. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I was gonna say on par with that with the with the Ilya Martell thing would definitely be Brandon Stark and them. I mean, watching his father die and he's getting terrible. choked out, burnt to death. I mean. Yeah, horrible, horrible shit. You really think about it. I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you really think about yourself in their shoes and seeing your father burning and screaming and hor you know, it's terrible. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Uh, let's see. Chris, uh, oh, I had something from Chris M. I think I was Yeah, reading. Chris M. Chris M. My video was still on Be Back Soon. I thought it was a really long time. Sorry, fresh and presto. You guys were all on. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, uh, we, we were... We, a little behind, I had to change the mouse, uh, you know, as far as the battery that went out, of course, in perfect timing. And then, of course, we get back on, and, and James completely screwed up the audio. <laughs> that's, he, we had to do three no, different that's, tries. That's my fault. I, 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 I double-clicked, I guess, the mic, so we were on here trying to trying to talk for a few minutes and anyway. If you did miss anything, uh, this thing will upload. It takes a while yes. after, afterwards, but you can go back and catch that little bit that you might have missed yeah when, it, when, when we when we stop the stream actually it'll you, the first the last two hours will basically already be there yeah, and then it'll take a while to process that third hour and a half or whatever it ends up being so uh yes and i will put them in the proper playlist as well all right looks um, like some super chats are dropping I think, in like crazy I, I think so yeah i think i think we're here with i think carol is next here it is carol Brown. okay thank, thank you. you carol <clears throat> uh q a robert told ned in season one that his soldiers were soft after so many years of peace. Uh, even after the War of the Five Kings, do you think Westeros is ready for the Great War to come? No. 
Hmm. Only because um, they have no idea what's going. They have no, this guy brings the storm. That's just the best line. That the way is. the way to put it. This is the best way to put it. This is not a regular, you know, where we line up it's and we not. got shields and tactics and all that bullshit. They, they don't care about wow. tactics. Yeah, that's true. It's just overwhelming yeah. odds. It is hundreds of thousands of dead people, and then the magic involved. It's not. It's not a regular war. It's not a fair fight. It's it not is fair. Not a fair fight. Which, you know, no such thing as a fair fight, but you know. It's, Without you know, the damn dragons exactly. and some luck. Yes. You know? And whatever this magical thing is with John, it has to be magical. Has Otherwise, what's the point, right? right. Exactly. Uh, and also, Super Chat from June Torres Jr. Thank you, uh, June. Uh, Germ said it will be a bittersweet ending. What if everyone dies and everything just resets a new beginning? Well, that would certainly be uh, bitter, but I don't know if there's any sweet part in that if you can't if you don't give humans a chance to change things. Right. So I would think that there's going to be people left, but very few. That's the way I take the bittersweet thing. Um, so you got to have, you, in other words, the story to me is about, will people decide to make a change and get away from the feudalistic bullshit? Right. And, and have then have to, a second chance. Or history uh, will repeat or itself. Or history will repeat itself again, and we'll go through the same thing. So, it may take hundreds of years, but it will. But, June, I do think a lot of people will die. I mean, it's just it's going to be a slaughter. This is not going to be a, like, the White Walkers line up and just, you know what I mean? No. And they line no. up over here with their banners. And they're not throwing snowballs and shit. No. I mean, not, it's horrible. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. That would be funny as hell <laughs> if they started throwing fucking snowballs. <laughs> that would be the twist. That will be one of our skits we do. They, they start throwing snowballs. Oh, we're just fucking, we kidding. We're going back. We just, we're yeah. fucking with you. We're going back up north. <laughs> Oh, Throw shit. up another wall. So, we won't come past That'd be it. funny as hell. <laughs> you see John get in that scene, and he just turns around and walks off. I just want to hit the motherfucker with a snowball, and he goes home. <laughs> They're all nice. Things I got it shit. in my head now. I got oh, that God. scene. I'm going to send that in. Um, uh, Roger Pitts. Thank you, Roger, for the super chat donation. There always wants to be a Stark in Winterfell. Do you think it has anything to do with the Night's King trying to raise Starks in the crypts? I think that's a possibility. It's kind of like winter is coming. I think it's... You know, I don't know how big, like, Winter is Coming, I think, is definitely an old warning. Um, it, it, it lost its meaning over time. Yeah. The question is, the, the question I've always wondered about the whole Starks and Winterfell thing is, you know, it came from somewhere. I don't really think the kids and people know what it means. Mm -hmm. did, it, did it have two things that mean different things? You know what I mean? Like two sayings. Uh, exactly. Is I know there, what you're saying. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, is, there, is there a need for that? Is there a need for winter's coming to have the original meaning and then they're kind of just unofficial saying right. to have another meaning? Or is it just like, no, no, it just means it needs to be a Stark here to you know take care of the place while we're all, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Because they're still ruling the North. It could be literal. It could literally be just that. But if there is something to it, I... I I think it could be related to that because there is something about the crypts, obviously, and then you have all they they mention the kings of winter, and the swords on their laps to keep their spirits in there. So it makes you wonder about the necromancy magic thing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, it's it's hard to say. We just don't know. I, I, the only thing, like I said, that's my only doubt about the thing is like, do they have two different meanings or two sayings that has two yeah, different meanings? And what are the odds of that? And what are the odds of that yeah. exactly? Uh, so thank you, Roger. Uh, Pre again, thank you, Pre for Guerdo. Thanks so much, Chris. How do you think Arya will get Littlefinger's dagger, the one she has on the promo shots, killing him, and is an option? Yeah, I think she she could do it by actually killing him uh, and then take it. But now that I think about it, obviously this came out a day late from the trailer uh, video when I when I published it. I right. think that's what she's looking for in the room. Yeah. Now that makes more sense than like, oh, she's just paranoid, or it still could be. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, you know, because I want because you're just kind of looking at that scene going, okay, she's in a she's in a room maybe. You're just kind of guessing because you really don't have anything to go off of. Yeah, is she getting ready to hide from something? Yeah, well, you know, what's going on? Yeah, here? is there something going on in Winterfell already? Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. that was just basically oh, maybe she's reminiscing, maybe she's looking for something. You know, when she was a kid, you mm -hmm. know, you just don't know. But now it makes sense a little bit more if she's looking for something in Littlefinger's chambers. Yeah, wherever he's like staying, wherever his room is. It, it did kind of come over you like that when you right. saw the dagger. You're like, <laughs> exactly. As soon now. as as soon as people start sending me the shots of the the, the Entertainment Weekly, that's exactly what I thought about. Uh, uh, let me double check Streamlabs really quick. All right, I think we're good there. Right. Let me take a a. Not, I think we're okay. I think we're we're getting get back live to the live chat here. 
Uh, let me grab a regular question really quick. Um, um, is that Matt Geo son? I need to write a note. Okay, Q and A. Uh, if Brand and Tyrion teamed up, would Brand get the short end of the deal, and would he be the bigger man and walk away? What <laughs> are they trying to be funny? Uh, <laughs> short, yeah, and yeah short, yeah, exactly. Uh, I guess you're referring to like him, like Brand being pissed off about being pushed from a Lannister. I, I don't, I don't think. Uh, I don't. I don't think he would blame Tyrion for that. Honestly, I don't think Bran's going to hold that thing. You know, we talked about that with Le somebody asked about Jamie. Like, what if they met up? I don't think Bran's going to hold that grudge. Actually, he'll be pissed, but he. I think he realizes now the bigger importance of his role. He would have right. never got recruited, never even left Winterfell. He would have said hell no to some crow. Oh, absolutely. Barking at him in his dreams. Absolutely. If he could still ride a horse, he'd be off in he'd the war. He'd have been beside Rob. Or beside Rob. Well, yeah. technically, he'd have made, yeah, he'd need to be the Stark Winterfield. Then if Rob would have made him King. stay. He would have wanted it. Yeah, yes. you're right. Mm -hmm. But if he, if Rob got in trouble, he would have rode off too. You know, there's no doubt. So I I, I think it's. Mike Bush. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lord. Mike is the super villain up in here. You know, he, he loves him some damn uh, Ramsey, Ramsey Bolton. Bolton. Hey, Mike, you, man, you're just. You're just you don't really believe that, man. You don't. He's he's a Jon Snow fan. You know he's a Jon Snow. I guarantee Snow. you. Mike is a Jon Snow lover, and he's just he he won't he won't tell anybody. He wears Stark shirts and shit at home. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, super chat from uh, Lazuli twenty one ninety nine. Thank you. A lot. Uh, Q and A. Do you think Jon would would die without knowing his true parentage? Lazuli, I did a video. He did one time. Three and again. Yes, three weeks, three or so, four weeks ago. Uh, as far as like the worst ending possible, and that, in my opinion, is the worst ending possible. It would be. So can it happen? Yeah, absolutely. No, and that's what he does. He breaks our hearts, and I would hate that. But I, I honestly don't think he would do that with the mass book burnings that would follow. Mm -hmm. So I think he has to learn because he's got to do something that requires Targaryen to start blood. Has to. To fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire. Jake Stevens says the Hound was there when Littlefinger betrayed Ned. Yes, that's right. That's what I meant. That's what I was something missing earlier on you in my brain. That's right. The Hound can relay that information. Absolutely. He is heading north. question is, does he go to, to Winterfell? Yes. Yeah? I, I think they would meet up somewhere, but you never know. So, I mean, obviously he's going north, so we'll, we'll have to see. We just don't have a lot of yeah, information. Good point, Jake. Yep. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Lori, if Tyrion and Sansa survive to the end, do you think they would get remarried? Okay, yeah, we, we kind of said that a minute ago. I think so. I think that's a possibility. I, because, again, why why really, you know, she noted herself that Tyrion was treating her well. Why have yeah. the conversation with Marjorie and Marjorie tell her that, you know, you, you never know till you try, you know, all that stuff as far as him being an imp. So I think it's possible. When, when they come so close to death, and they've already seen all these people they love die. Yes. Okay? They're going to be, like, breathing a sigh of relief and forgetting all the petty shit in their life. Yes. They're both going to want good people hey, in their life. Hey, Shales of Halstein, how are you? Yes. She deserves it because she's been treated so horribly by men. And he is at the point in his life where he wants to treat a woman good. Right. And where did horrors go? Maybe he forgets that in the books and forgets the whole, <laughs> you know, first wife thing. I mean, you know, seriously. That's, I know, yeah. That's, he's so broken in the books, he's a lot more broken. And uh, I, I think that would be a good thing uh, for his arc. Me too. Uh, let's see. I saw something really quick up here before I saw some super chat. Um, uh Krista, okay, now I'm kind of convinced you guys are screwing with me. Or what, us? Did we do, Krista, did we do something? I don't I don't know. Oh, I think she's the one that said, uh, read her comment that didn't have a question in it. I'm going to make a point. Uh, you want to read those? I'll go look for a question. Yeah, did we her. miss uh, a question? Krista uh, Mosher? Uh, I'm not sure uh, what we're, or, uh, I'm not sure. We're not trying to troll anybody. If we no, miss something. I will go check. Legitimately, I'm not sure. Okay, um. Let's see, uh, Marilyn, let's see yours. One second, Marilyn. I'm just going to check uh, Streamlabs here because I keep seeing little things in the corner of my eye here pop in. But, uh, okay, so we're good there. Uh, Marilyn Bentley, another super chat. Thank you, Marilyn. Um, Chris and James, uh -oh. who are your favorite and least favorite characters on the show? Uh, to Chris, because James read first book, but he alluded he won't read more. <laughs> Do you have different book favorite, least favorites? Um I'll go while you're looking at that question, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Tyrion is one of my favorite uh, characters, and Bloodraven are my two, I would, if I had to pick two favorite of all things in the books, 
I just love the Brendan Rivers backstory and who he is and how he became a three eyed crow. And then Tyrion is just he's just a damn man. I just I, I just love Tyrion the way he, he can talk his way out of anything. Right. I mean it's insane. Um so that's my favorite. Least favorite, you know I'm gonna say you know you know I'm saying Catelyn. I know. Uh, Catelyn is yeah. my least favorite character in the whole damn thing. I just I can't stand her. Um and she's worse in the books. A level she didn't even give like that speech to in the book, in the show that she did about you know feeling bad for hating John all these years, she mm-hmm. didn't get to do any of that shit in the books at all. Um, but yeah, that, that that's my answer to to the the whole that's books and show. I think. Well, I, I've said before, uh, Sam Sam Will, he's my yeah, favorite. He, he's he's up there. Um, and I, I definitely love Tyrion, but I'll tell you what, the Hound has mm-hmm. grown on me watching him. Yeah, you know. Um, but as of right now, I'd say uh, Sam and Tyrion with the Hound and Varys close behind. Yeah. Uh, hated. I love the Hound too. I hate um, Cersei. I love love her. Don't get me wrong. Love to hate her. I, yeah. yeah, but love to hate her. I hate her. I hate you know the things she's done and um, Ramsay. Uh, yeah, he beat he, yeah. Joffrey in my eyes. I that, hated Joffrey, yes, but then Ramsey took true. over. That's true. Yeah, there's, there's, a, you, you're not, you can't be wrong with any of those answers either way. Uh, and Marilyn, as far as the book thing, I, I, I look at it. I said this before. I, I liked the Game of Thrones. I like the, I like Feast. I like, I like dance. Um, so it's, it's, to me, it's like you know, it's just a different, it's just a different, you know, uh, chapter in the saga. You know, so I look at it all as one. One thing is one story. I've always I, that's the way I am with movies, like Star Wars, for example. Um, yeah, I mean, if I had to pick, you know, it'd probably be Empire, for example. But it's all one story, you know. Even though the prequel is kind of kind of disappointed a little bit in some ways, but um, it, that's just the way I look at, at these big sagas. Krista uh, was talking to people in the chat, not us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's what I gathered. By just want to make the sure. Thank you. Okay. I just want to make sure we didn't uh, wasn't. Wasn't, uh, wasn't trolling anybody. <laughs> uh, let me check the stream. We're good there. Okay. All right. Uh, so thank you, Marilyn. Uh, Jaxie McGregor, thank you for Thanks super chat. Thanks a lot, Jaxie. Be honest. Who would you actually want on the Iron Troll in the end? Both of your choices, please. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You take yeah. that one first. Okay. Because um, I buy into your theory that there won't be one at the end. But mm-hmm. if there is, Danny. She, she, yeah, I, I, I like her style. I like. I think she's fair. I think she will split up everything the way it should be, you know, divided. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm almost, I'm basically the same answer. I don't think there's going to be an Iron Throne, but if there was, I would like to see Danny or John. But I know John because John, John has lived his whole life with this bastard thing, you know, and Danny's had a sense of entitlement. Mm-hmm. But she has grown a lot. A lot of I know there's a lot of Danny haters out there. A lot of John haters for that matter. But more Danny haters. So if she gets if she gets stable yes. with people like Tyrion around her, which Tyrion has not met her in the books yet, but I think mm-hmm. he obviously he will. And you know that type of thing. And she learns that like she has progressed in the show. I would love to see it. Ooh. I would love to see John because he doesn't want to rule. Yeah. And I know those are cliche answers. Um, but, but no. yeah, I mean, I would want to see some t- crazy twist ending like Littlefinger. If you know, I know yeah. a lot of people would love to see the bad guy win in a sure, sense, yeah. but I don't, I don't want to see that honestly. But you know how you pointed out about the trailer when she came and touched the ground. You yes. know, she cares about history a lot, like Rhaegar cared about yes. you know prophecy and stuff. And <laughs> John is just about if everything's fair, I'm good with it. You know, I. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's right, more exactly. honorable, noble guy. Right. He could chill out, uh, you know, up north. Um, and wouldn't give a and damn. And would, would not care. Would not care. Danny about cares about history and righting wrongs from the past. Right. And that's who she's become in the show and the books. And, you know, a little bit different in the books, obviously. But learning, like, becoming an abolitionist and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And she gets the right people. She would be fine. Um, but John, because he don't really want it, but he would be fair about it. And, oh, and, hell yeah. And, and, you know, so, that, I mean, I know it's cliche, but... I don't want to see that weird twist where, you know, it's Littlefinger or Varys or some weird, right. you know, some crazy twist like that. And that's just my opinion. But uh, also, we have a super chat from, and I'm sorry, I cannot read this. Is that Russian? Wow. I, I, it's, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, I can't, I, I can't even try. <laughs> so, 
Uh, it shows five bucks, so thank you. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, I can't. I don't even want to risk. I mean, it's just it's not even. I don't think it's even showing right on the screen. Um, do you think there's any chance Stannis will ever sit the Iron Throne in the books? Um, I think, I think George R. R. Martin said that there may be a twist with him, and, and so he may not actually die in the in the books. I'll, but I, I think he does, and I, I don't think he ends up on the throne. I don't know. I, I could see it perhaps as some kind of twist, but um, I I still see, and that's just me guessing. He didn't say specifically Stannis, I don't think, but he said that there was some character that he's going to do a twist with something different from the show. And I think he was referring to Stannis, so he may do something, but that doesn't mean he's going to make it to the end. Is he teamed up with Melisandre in the books? Yes. It, okay. Yeah, all so the all that's same. the same. Yep. He just all hasn't died. He just hasn't died. He's on, like the end of dance. He's on his way. Okay. To Winterfell. Okay. So yeah, we haven't seen that battle yet. Uh, so thank you, uh, person. I'm sorry. I, it's just uh, I don't even know if that's even written yeah. right correctly honestly it looks no like wingdings uh wingdings from here with the old fonts from windows computers <laughs> and uh june torres jr thank you again another super thanks chat. a lot uh Tyrion is the man we all believe there will, uh, he will be there in the end so how do you guys uh feel if he doesn't make it to the end i'll hate it yeah it would be really i'll really hate sad. it because I, I want to see him you know complete this arc you know and and settle down whatever that means but see this thing concluded and see that he helped save the world in in that way and if, he's he's a part of something now he, he's not he's not a land it's not about a lannister anymore. right no it's that's not the, that's the thing and touching on what you said he made a difference in the world or whatever um i could see if he doesn't make it he'll he'll go out doing something so heroic that there will be a statue songs written about him I mean, they got to do something yes, good for yeah, him yeah i agree I, you I, know I, that would be cool now you could say that would almost be too cliche because everybody can't die heroically. But, but you know Tyrion. Somebody though. like Tyrion, that would work for because right. you, yeah, you would. You, that would be kind of cool. To I would hate it. But Somehow see, his size um, is the reason he's able to do something nobody else could do. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. That's why it fits so, so he's been perfect. made fun of his whole life for it, exactly, you know? and and shamed by his father. And then you, you, we go back to that line in, in a Game of Thrones. You know, for a moment Tyrion Lannister looked like a king. Yes, that's that shadow. That shadow. Yeah, that's man, huge. I know. And that's a book only thing. But yes, that, that's why. I think he, he he does something big time. All right, uh, let me double check Streamlabs. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, Ethan Ethan Hunt again. Thank Thanks, you, brother. Ethan. Uh, last question. I'll leave you alone. I think Bron is a former Night's Watch brother. If not, I think he could be a wilding. Uh, thoughts? Um, I don't uh, know about the wilding. He seems a little too proper to me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But well, I mean, he you, would have to be around a while to kind of learn the customs of the, of good, the good Southerners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I agree. I agree. But uh, uh, Night's Watch. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's certainly possible because um, you know you know they can get out of there. I could, yeah. You know, the, I mean, they go to most. I mean, he throws the black on. I could see him fitting in up there, being a cool ass night Night's Watch. Oh yeah. You know? I mean, uh, yeah. It's it's hard to say, um, but. And I've always wondered, like, is it just some random cell sword? You, you have, know? And which is why the me, uh, yeah, it's why the all the, the the theories about him being, you know, a reign of Castamere. Yes, and but I don't believe that he had too many chances to actually kill Tywin and all that stuff, even Tyrion before. So uh, it would be interesting to see, but because you know that somebody could sneak off and change clothes and never be seen again. Absolutely, because you know they have to get caught by somebody and and uh, and then turned her into the Lord to be executed or whatever. Right. It's like we saw with uh, uh, in, super in interesting one. character though when you he think is. about it. So yeah, I mean it's 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 certainly possible because there's you know it's like is he just a random cell sword that was at the crossroads <laughs> that just happened to get in Tyrion's storyline, no or is he does he have a bigger purpose or at least came from something that came. we. from some kind of event or history or something that that fits right. So. I can see it either way. I don't think a wilding, though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? 571 watching? Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, uh, Janine Curtis, Q&A, hey, tenfold Janine. alert. Uh, Lannisters always pay their debts until Cersei. Iron Bank gets sick of waiting, hires... Uh, um, let me move this up so I can see it. Uh, and probably lose it. I think I did lose. Hold on. There he okay. is. Uh, Iron 
Iron Bank gets sick of waiting, hires Ari as a face assassin to take care, take Cersei out. How cool would that be? Yes, uh, I would, and, and they can hire a faceless assassin. That's certainly a possibility. But Arya is really no longer in that order. So, you know, I don't see how they, they hire her. Right. But that could bring Jacken back into the story. You know what I mean? Right. Um, oh, in, in the show. Because there's probably other people, obviously, in the books. Yeah, I like, I like the way Janine started there. You know, Lannisters always pay their debts until it, Cersei. Exactly, until Cersei. And then, but I think that's what she's going to try to do. And that's why I say Highgarden, because they are very rich. The Tyrells are very, very rich. Mm -hmm. And she's going to try to take their wealth so she can pay back that shit because she knows <laughs> she's in a corner. Right. So that's where the Highgarden thing is coming. If it's not her blaming the Sept on somebody else, which I don't, I think you're kind of right. I think she just says, you know, this is what happens if you fuck with me. But she will go take High Garden for the wealth since the gold mines are dry. Right. And that's what the High Garden thing is. And it gives her some kind of advantage in the war to come because she knows Danny's on the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, capital H, Q&A. What if John and the public learn his lineage but don't learn the kidnap and rape was fake news <laughs> um yeah that would be that's interesting that would be bittersweet um, it really would you know, be because yeah. he, he'd be kind of pissed off instead yeah. of like accepting of it because he's gonna be pissed off anyway but yeah. eventually he would be like okay i understand why ned did all this and hid it from everybody yes and, but yeah if you if you think that your mother was taken the whole time yeah that would be bittersweet in and of itself so good point that, that's that's interesting although I kind of think that's why we see here in home. Uh, let me ask you this: Is uh, when he's dealing with that, being pissed off about it. Yeah. Who could kind of talk him down from that? A uh, Howlin Reed? I think so. I think I think because Howlin was was probably with Ned when he's like, okay, we're gonna call him John, you know, after you know, name him John instead of show, you know, Aemon or Aegon or whatever. Right. We're gonna do all this because I promised my sister, and that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're going to do what he can. He, I'm going to raise him as my son. I mean, he he did a lot for him. Yeah. So once he gets told like what that that whole story, I think it would be a, a Hall and Reed style character. It was there. That's the only one that could really make him feel like okay, this is legit. Yeah. Because he was there. I, I, He's yeah, right. Living. So that could be another place for Hall and Reed too. Um, as far not just like you know as far as the the end game. Uh, let's see. Jake Stevens says, uh, do you think Hal and Reed uh, will be in season seven, present day Hal and Reed, that is? I don't think so, Jake, quite yet. And uh, like, I haven't looked into like big time filming news this year, but I don't, I don't think so. I would like to see that, but I think that's more of a season eight thing. I think it's going to be a big, like, a big mystery, kind of like the Gendry Rowan thing. Where's Gendry been for three seasons? Right. When I mean, we've been mentioning Hal Reed for years now, and it's like he wasn't there, and, and we know, so we, we think he's at the God's Eye or going back and forth to the God's Eye. So I think that's, a, I think that's a season eight thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I thought I saw. Uh, no, I guess that was the same one. Let me double check. Stream Labs, and then I guess we'll take another quick break. We're like an hour 50 already. Right. Already, this, this, this shit's flying. It is flying by. Uh, okay, we're good there. So, yeah, guys, let's do that. Let's take a quick break since we're kind of caught up on those, yeah, and we'll come back to the regular to questions. Eye. Do I have something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Let's take a quick break and uh, let the dog out and all that good stuff, and uh, we'll be right back and keep going. Thanks, guys.
All right, all right. We're live, and I think we have sound this time. Yes, we have sound. James didn't fuck it up this time. <laughs> ah, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, no, that's all my fault. All right. Uh, let's see here. Getting I more think, sun drop, somebody said. Yeah, also, oh, yeah, real quick. I saw uh, an email come in. I wanted to thank, um, let's see, was it uh, Herb? I guess I missed Herb's question, too. But thank you, Dylan, for upgrading on Patreon. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks a lot, Appreciate Dylan. that, man. Uh, and Herb had a question, but I think Herb had left. Somebody said uh, goodbye to Herb. So uh, anyway, um, I thought I saw a, let's see, Super Chat. Um, Sammy G Baby 85. Thanks, Sammy. Thank you. If the spinoffs don't take place in Westeros, i.e. Uh, Essos or somewhere else, I don't think it will do very well. People won't see Westeros. Do you agree? I do agree. I do. I think, yeah, I mean, for show people, you know, it, it's it's got to be, you don't want to, I mean, that, they could try an Essos thing if it's interesting enough, if they, if they relate it to it somehow or link it. But, yeah, I agree. But this I is think, where we would see the show and book people. Yes, it separate completely. Yeah, yeah because it, you know, book people and, and show people, for that matter, too, do want to see more of Essos, but not in the numbers, like, you know, that are just show-only exactly. watchers. But I think... Uh, in the podcast the other week, Val mentioned, I thought she read something about it may actually take place in Essos or somewhere else, maybe not Westeros specifically. So, hmm. I don't know. I think that's where it comes in with the five different shows they're pitching. We'll all be watching in the beginning, I guarantee you oh, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if it says Game of Thrones and then a subtitle, it's going to be watched. And it'll probably do well, but not as well as if, if it was something. Like, that's why the whole thing with Robert's Rebellion was odd that they took that off the table. I agree. Um also, uh, June, again. June again, Taurus, uh, thank you. There's no question there, June, so I don't know if you had a question, another question, but thank you. I'm not sure if you did. Type that again if you did. Uh, and let me check. I thought I uh, keep hearing dings. I'm not sure if they're subscribers or... Uh, oh, Ethan Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ethan, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Ethan. Last one, right? Uh, no, thank you, Ethan. Uh, I know I said last question, but I forgot um, to put why... Uh, I thought Bronn uh, was a night's watch. He told Tyrion he's been north of the wall. That Oh, yes, that's correct, uh, for work. What else could he have been doing for the night's watch? That is I true. That is saying. true. Um, yeah, the question is, would you know, was he in a, was he a, a, you know, in the, you know, sell sword alone, like a lone sell sword? Did he do, was he in the night's watch for, like you said, work? That does make sense. So that's certainly possible, and I would definitely agree with that before I would the wilding thing. Or... Like who would hire him separately? I, I was just the Night's Watch that. does their own work, right? So who would hire him to go north of the Wall to take out Which, wildlings or whatever it may be? Yeah. Or does he tie in with something more important like the Horn of Jormund in the books? Because the I Horn, you know, or, say, or, or the Sam Habit, you know you what I mean? Think of with all your knowledge that someone outside the Night's Watch yeah, would the, hire the only him. thing the only thing that I could think of it was would be some kind of uh like like this is ties actually ties in the Jackin because if you think about it, Jack and Agor okay. was in the sales and what do they do from the sales? What we what, what was the what would the only reason be for him to go get himself locked up on purpose because you know he's not going to get caught. Right. What, what would the only reason be well the Night's Watch cleans out the sales. So he would be he wanted to go to the wall. Okay. And For that's some what reason, you said that before. Yeah. So, what would Jack and, and perhaps somebody like Bron maybe working for somebody like that want north of the wall? I mean, mm. I don't. I don't. I'm not saying I have the answer. Right. But that's kind of begs the question, and as far as the Jack and thing, and maybe even the Bron thing. I mean, it's it's interesting. Yeah, he did say that in the books for sure. He's been north of the wall for work, and the Night's Watch does their own thing. Um. Maybe it ties in with Craster somehow or another. I was thinking Craster. Maybe, uh, maybe somebody. I don't it was know. the only thing I could think of. You know, was Craster. But who would send? I'm gonna think about that for a while. Who would who would send Bron or like hire him individually to go north of the Wall without the Night's Watch knowledge? Because what that brings up is some other very knowledgeable player or one of our players yes. that we don't know that facet yet. That's true. But then again, the simpler answer is that. He was in the Night's Watch, and it he is. just escaped right. and, and changed, you know, like he said to Tywin, you wouldn't know him. As in, I'm not telling you who my father is, because if you know my father, you might know who I am, mm -hmm. and I was at the Night's Watch, <laughs> and you'll kill me. So, that's a good point. Very good point, Ethan. I'll, I'm going I'm to look into that more now, because now you got me thinking about it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Saul says, Saul... Uh, 
Vallis Quiz, I believe it is. Q&A, the Night's Watch will still, will the Night's Watch still exist once the wall comes down? I, so I've said before, I don't think there will be a Night's Watch at the end of this thing. No. I don't think there's going to be now. a need for it, number one, but yeah. And, and there's not going to be like many Night's Watch survivors left to have to worry about, exactly. are they going to be able to go back home, you know, or Ex anything exactly. like that. Ah, oh, I think I just saw it was that capital H. I thought uh, King Beyond the Wall, as far as like like Braun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. His age wouldn't really fit with Mance. You know, I don't know. Mance has been around for a while, gathering all these wildings up for a long, long time. So I don't know. It would be. He would have. I don't think it was a king for a long time. Uh, so I don't know if that. But yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Ashley Thomas. Ashley Thomas. Uh, Ashley Thomas, love you guys. Q&A, what do you think brings down the wall at the end of the season is all but confirmed by now. Is it the Walkers or something else? Can't just be Brand's mark. Well, I think I think it actually is. I, I, this is what we talked about before. I did a video called Brand's Dilemma, and I think that's kind of the, the, the idea was, or at least my idea was that he gets to the wall and he's got to make that choice. Does he go through knowing that Mark's going to you know take the magic out of it yeah, it doesn't and, necessarily bring the wall down. No, it won't itself. No, right. yes, it, but it will break the magic. Exactly. And then we've already saw from the uh, Blood Raven Cave episode, uh, "Hold the Door." Yes, uh, the door. I'm sorry, but um, episode five, season six, that uh, he did the little thing, he touched the ground, and I think that's our little prelude to the wall. Yeah, he's gonna do it again. So yeah, he'll do it again. And uh, the whole magic's damn wall, gone. It go. It goes through. It, goes. it comes down. So I think that is actually what's going to happen because Brand's got to decide, like, do I stay here and die? And and, and they can't get through the wall, but eventually they'll figure it out. Or do I go through the wall while I have all these players that I'm seeing in my visions like Dragons and Danny and John and get this thing done? Right. That's Brand's big decision. And it's all on him. He feels like it's on – everybody feels like everything's on their shoulders. Melisandre does. I agree with Brand that. does. Yeah. John does. And Danny will once she hears about it. So everybody feels like it's their like their thing to do. They, they got to get to a meeting. <laughs> exactly. They got to get to this uh, this conference on Dragonstone or wherever in the hell it's going to happen. Uh, let me see. Double check this really quick. Oh, look at this. Uh, thank you. Big, Big fan, fan of Smoke Stream. That's actually somebody's name there on, on uh, <laughs> that <laughs> that's is cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Streamlabs. Big fan of Smoke Screen. Um, thank you so much for the donation. Hey, thank guys, you. here's a beer on me. I love your stuff and got knowledge. You're a genius. One question How do you see Cersei and Jamie ending? I, I mean, lots of speculation around Jamie killing her. Do you see that happening also with Jamie survive after that? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Wow, Big fan yeah. of Smoke Screen. Uh, that's obviously a cool name. Um, really? <laughs> I, I think it does go. I think Jamie, I want to see him continue and, like, you know, join the Starks and, like, kind of redeem himself from the whole Ned thing. Mm -hmm. But I just don't see it being that clean. Everybody can't be the hero or be in that group of heroes. You know what I'm saying? I agree. So I still think it's like the, the younger brother thing. Now, I know the Valencar wasn't in the, in the show. But I still think that he's got to kill Cersei, kill the Mad Queen, save another hundreds of thousands of people in King's Landing from wildfire, and then he may just take himself out. I okay. mean, it may be that you know that's a little bittersweet thing right there. He saved somebody again, but he can't deal with it. You right. know, I don't know. I would hate to see him think he's that, like that weak or something, but because you do want to see him like go and ride beside John, you know, and, and riding the battle with his Valyrian steel sword out. You know, you want to see that, but I, that's just too, it's too cliche. I don't want to see him kill her and then the mountain rip his spine out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it could, yeah, it could happen like that too, where he's like, nah, I'm going to get the hell out of here for real, but then he's still alive somehow. Yeah, yeah I exactly. mean, that's certainly possible. But yeah, I mean, I, I think, I, the way that Cersei put that, we came in the world together, we belong together, it, it just seems like they have to go out together. Yeah. So I don't know. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. I really do, but I, I still see it that way um, right now. A couple super chats came in. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carol Brown again. Thank you, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Q and A. Cersei's money is tight since her, her low budget Dollar Tree decoration at Cassie Rock. <laughs> exactly. Oh, shit. How can she keep funding this war? Uh, that's exactly what. I, exactly. Uh, she can fund it by stealing from Highgarden, and I think that's what she's going to do. And uh, she will probably be successful at first, and then that's when Danny will come in, and I think we saw that in the trailer. I think that's the scene we saw with the Dothraki riding in on the field that looked like to be about that area. 
um, in the reach. So I think that's what's going to happen. She's going to take her wealth. Right. She's going to turn into her. She's going to turn into, you know, she's going to pay the iron price. <laughs> she's turning into the iron born. And that's where your honor kind of fit in a little bit. Oh, too. hell yeah. You know, you just use my methods and steal it. <laughs> the hell with buying gold or uh, shit with gold. Uh, Marilyn again. Thank you, Marilyn. Um, Thanks a lot. Will we see Mel overlooking Dragstone on the trail. Do you think she'll go team Targaryen? Now that John gave her the boot, also do you think we'll see Kinvara with Thoros or Mill piss drop Kinvara? Yes, this was my big thing, Marilyn. I wanted to see Kinvara. Yes, I said this a couple times last couple uh, uh, chats or, or streams. I want to see Kinvara and and Melisandre's dynamic. Yeah, you know, like here's the princess prince that was promised. She's got fire made flesh, and here's this. You know, uh, no, this guy came back to life. I saw him doing this and this in the flames, right? And then come together, but. It does make sense now to think about that she went back to Dragonstone because it's a stand. It's still supposed to be a Baratheon Stannis held place. Okay. And she didn't really have another place to go. That makes sense. So I think she helps bridge that gap. She gets back into John's graces a little bit mm -hmm. through Danny and brings them together a little bit, almost like a, a Davos. In other words, it's kind of ironic. Davos and her kind of doing the same thing. And with who, Tyrion, who on Team Danny will um, like you know welcome her in and. Take her to Danny to have a meeting or whatever. Well, I think she'll already be there, honestly. I think okay. she's looking down from Dragonstone as they I, walk up for the first time. That makes sense. And she's okay. already there, and then she's going to kind of portray what she knows about John. that was a cool picture. As a matter of fact, I'll say this now. I, this, I just, this came to me. Danny's going to get to Dragonstone, walk up the steps, and there's a bug in my face. <laughs> Jeez. Um, North Carolina. Yeah, you open the door and the lights, and they fly right in. Um I can I see this happening. Uh, she's going to be there already. Okay. Because it would make sense for as a place for her to go. Sure, it does. The Still being Baratheon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she will tell Danny, "The King in the North's coming to see you. I've already seen it." Hey now. And this is what's I going like to happen. That. And then that's going to buy her trust. And she because he will show up. Wow. <laughs> so she's still kind of the main red priestess without having to use Kenvara, but I still want to see Kenvara. That pisses me off. Awesome, man. So that, I'm calling I, that. I just I called it right that. there. She's going to tell John he's coming before he comes. Um, and a super chat from Ethereon. Thank you. Thank you, Ethereon. Uh, John was 998. Ed was 999. Uh, technically, I guess, if he technically wasn't elected yet, but maybe, yeah, I guess you consider him that. The wall falls, the world of ice and fire concludes. Would this be bittersweet fate of John as 1,000 with a new mission? Um... Yeah, there. You know, it's interesting with these like rounded up numbers. The hundred son of Craster, the thousandth Lord Commander. If I we know, get there, man. but I, I almost think that Ed will be the last one. It stops at nine ninety nine. I don't think John will like retake that in any way, being the King of the North, and then going into battle and whatever happens as far as this end game goes. So I think Ed essentially is like the last technically unelected Lord Commander, unless they did it off screen or something like that. He mm -hmm. was basically. All, any help is always left. Mike Bushnell, don't say flip it upside down at six 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 either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably coming. It's probably already in the chat. Uh, let's see. Uh, is that her back with a different thing? Her Cosmo again? Yes. I thought I saw him flash by. Oh, he doesn't have here. Batman on there. I didn't see it, if that was him. Uh, Everdon. There's Everdon. I haven't seen, uh, there, there's a Q&A. Chris, do you, did, I did hear in another video say you thought Yara and Laura were both captured by Euron. I'm trying to figure out if Yara is taken captive, and then how else uh, could the two women get together? Yeah, if you're referring to like the trailer scene, I think the trailer right. scene was on the boat. I do too. Before this whatever battle happens with Euron. And that's when they get captured. Um, the only reason I know the capture thing was just the filming news, the photos. So, yeah, I mean, I, no script leaks or nothing like that. I haven't read any of those. Like I said, I've, I've only heard. I got sent that one part about the, the north of the wall thing. Um, but, yeah, the, 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 the photos, it, we kind of confirmed that. Um, but I think as far as the timing goes, it's, it's that sea battle. And that's when they're, you know, making out with the, you know, you have to have the, the girl on girl trailer scene, right? right? <laughs> So I think that's what's uh, what's happening there. Uh, Kali Cloud, love you guys. Thank you, Kali. Thank you Appreciate so much. That. We love um, you too. Lisa Hayden, uh, Q and A. How long did it take for the first men to defeat the White Walkers ages ago? Seems like with the show wrapping up, the whole winter is here. Won't last long. Yeah, well, that's the question, right? Uh, we don't know how that happened. You know, was it a pact? Was it an agreement? 
could they really beat him back? You know what right. I mean? With a one guy with a Valyrian steel flaming, flaming sword. sword. Yeah, I don't buy that. And then the other last hero, or, or the, you know, going in and his sword breaks, and another story. I, I don't buy that they necessarily beat them. You know, I, there was some kind there was of a deal made, some kind of deal, and, and you know whether they want to admit that or not. Even like Brandon the Builder being involved. I mean, I, they had and, to agree to something. And you think that. Um, you know, maybe Sam is figuring out what that deal might uh, and, be. Uh, and I think that's Sam's role. Not not necessarily the forged Valyrian steel because right. that's just there's just not enough. There's not gonna happen in time. Um it's yeah, so like, I think hey guys, it, this has happened before. This is what they did. This is what they did. And it's probably gonna be something horrible because we learned later from the thirteenth Lord Commander story, the original Knights King about the babies being sacrificed and then we saw that with Craster. That seems to be the only thing that keeps them at bay, but Again, they, they reacted to something to build that army, so I think that's the Ice and Fire kid, John. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carol, thank you, Carol. Thanks, uh, Carol. Krista's question, have you heard... Oh, so you, for Krista, okay. Wow. Um, have you heard anything uh, about the episode title? She heard something about it. Uh, yes, actually, I just did the other day. I had not heard this before, but something came out. Actually, I think it was last year, and we're going to talk about it next week's podcast. I don't have them right here in front of me as far as the names of them, but we're going to have a little discussion about that on the podcast. It would just be speculation based off these potential names for episodes. Okay. So it, that's all we have, and I don't know if they're legit. We have no idea, but uh, Val found an article, and we're going to discuss that on the Side Effect podcast next week, this next episode. Oh, that'd be exciting. It's episode three. That, that will be our Game of Thrones kind of discussion to see if we can kind of speculate on what that means. Right. What just title? off what their names. Mm -hmm. Because they use a lot of like house words and stuff like that. Really, really cool titles. So uh, thank you, Carol, for grabbing Krista's question. <clears throat> um, Ryan Van Gordon, glad to have you listening to us live again. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ryan, for hanging out. Uh, Lisa, right there, I'm trying to grab it here. Lisa, is that South um, or Sade? I'm sorry, I lost it again. Okay. Chris, do you think that Arya is looking under Littlefinger's bed for the cat's paw and found the cat's paw? Yeah, that's that's what I was saying before, yes. Lisa. I think because I, I wish that would have came out the day before, but now with the with the blade in the pictures, that makes complete sense that she's looking for something in Littlefinger's chambers or you know wherever they put him up in Winterfell. That that's what I believe. Um, Dave Tresky, Q and A, will we find out where horrors go, or is that something Tyrion just obsesses over? Yeah, I don't know if we're going to see Taisha again in the books, Dave. I, I mean, I think that's something he's obsessed over. He's very broken from it. Um, but I, he may get an answer for that like, in a personal way, but you're not going right. to really find out like where Taisha went necessarily, if that makes sense. So I, that's the way I think it goes down. And that's where the sands of things come, comes in with the whole potential getting, you know, getting back together and being married in the first place, although it was not official. Uh, there's Onyx Rose. Uh, let's see. Uh, Colin Gallant, uh, Q&A. Uh, hey, guys, do you both have a P.O. box? Uh, no, I share a P.O. box with Chris. Yeah, Chris yeah, has a P.O. box, I, and PO, I get stuff through there. It, exactly. I, well, exactly. Um, P.O. box is in the link in every, or the description in every video for, uh, for the channel. Uh, oh, I'm not live here, am I? Here we go. Uh, oh, June again with another uh, super chat. Thanks Thank you. Thanks a lot. June Torres Jr. In my opinion, the ending will be Ned Stark sitting by the Redwood hearing Bran's voice. Uh, so everything we have seen so far is Bran talking to Ned about what will happen if he doesn't take the throne. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's interesting. Uh, I, I wouldn't like that, honestly. I, I, we, we've talked about that before. We, yeah. I mean, I want to see that everything that we're seeing is actually happened and right. not a potential future or whatever right but i mean it's also i don't know you can kind of see that as I one could. of those um like things where here's what's going to happen i've seen it all you can make a choice yeah because and it comes down to everybody one was shocked choice. when they killed ned so early yes. so now the, <laughs> the end of it is oh he's not he's, dead. he's really you not know? dead and that's a way to really you know kind of oh he wasn't dead this whole time this really never happened right so that's kind of a cop out almost to i me. know what you so mean. I, I don't i don't really dig that idea but i know a lot of people think that with this in the sam thing like mm -hmm. sam reading a story sam reading. and that's fine if they want to have sam reading a story to somebody to tell this story, but as long as it actually happened, mm -hmm. th that's all I'm saying. Yep, I feel the same way. 
Uh, so thank you again, June. Let me check uh, look, Streamlabs. I keep seeing these little flashes here. Uh, and uh, all right. Yeah. That's uh, thank Wallace. you, Stephen Wallace. Uh, Valar Morgulis. Uh, Valar mm -hmm. Harris. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks a so lot, much. Stephen. Let's see here. All righty. Uh, Q&A, Dragon 5016. Oh, oh, go ahead. Fractured uh, Impressist. Are, are you down? They've asked a lot. Right up a little bit. Let's see. Uh, right, one more. Oh. And it's there. Right there. Okay. See it? Oh, yeah. Fra <laughs> Fractured Dempster says it was all a dream I will hunt down in kill D and D. Yes. That, that's what I mean. It would be it would be horrible if it, they if they pulled something like that M night Shyamalan bullshit. Yeah. I mean I like those original stories, but you know how to mean you know yeah. what I mean. It just that's not going to work here. Ashley Thomas is agreeing. Yeah, it's yeah, just not going to work. It's not going to happen. People will riot. Yeah, it's that would be insane. Um, Sin E, there's Sin, a Q&A. Hey, hey, you two. Finally made it live. Been here all night. Awesome. What, what are the four panels you're participating in at Con of Thrones? What are you most looking forward to at the conference? Uh, the four panels I'm on, the first one is The Rise and Fall of Tyrion Targaryen. Uh, Tyrion, I said Targaryen. <laughs> Freudian slip there. Uh -huh. The rise and fall of Tyrion Lannister, uh, which is um, you know basically about Tyrion uh, with four people: um, uh, Val, me, and I think uh, Aziz, and um, I'm not sure the fourth person there. I, I gotta make I get up on the schedule too. Uh, the second one is one. Uh, the last day Sunday is with Roris and Val, and that's Roris's actual panel she submitted, which is. I call it vacation spots. That's what mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it. But it's like where not to go in Westeros, Southeros, you know, Essos, yeah. places you do not want to visit because you will die instantly in in the Song of Ice and Fire world. Uh, I'll call it vacation spots, places you want to go camping. <laughs> um, the other one is called the Old God's Head, which is about the old gods, which is a big. That's one of my favorite aspects of this whole story. Who are they really? We know what I think. Uh, so it's called the Old God's Head. And that is, uh, I believe, that's the second one Friday, and then Saturday. Is uh, which one? What's my last one? I don't even remember now. Um, I think it was. I I'll, I'll have to pull it up now. I'm, now I'm, yeah. I'm completely blanking. Um, actually, I can go right here and pull it up. Let me let me check real quick. Right. And so just so you guys will know. Uh, give me one second here. Debbie does. What are you typing in? Yeah. It's, it, no. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. One second, guys. Let me just grab this real quick. Um. Da, 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 da. There we are. All right, okay, yes, the Bravosi Agenda. Sorry, it slipped my mind. So the Bravosi Agenda will be uh, that Saturday, and that's about, like, what is Bravos and the Faceless Men? How are they tied into this whole story? And what are they going? what's their real agenda? And so that's going to be very, it's book-heavy, uh, book-heavy in that sense. So that's the four panels. But, again, anybody who wants to check that and, and see other changes or whatever, go to conathrones.com, and then you can click the schedule or speakers and kind of click there and see the panels. All right. Uh, let's see. Colin Gallant, Q&A, Chris, did your shirt come with a bucket of fucking chicken? <laughs> no. no, this shirt was actually it's sent awesome. to me by somebody in the P.O. box. Somebody just asked about that actually so a cool. while back. So, yeah, but yeah, I didn't, wasn't no chicken in there, man. Wasn't no chicken. Um, let's see here. Uh, did I see? Okay, that was this, the same one there. Okay. Uh, Mike Bushnell says, Q&A, what is a book? Um, book no, reading. Nothing, Mike. Nothing. There's no, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just old technology, man. It's oh, back Carol. before like you could listen to shit and, and watch YouTube. Carol picked a question from somebody. Okay. Though. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, actually, yeah, you know thanks what? Thanks for doing that. Carol, I mean, you know, don't feel, don't feel obligated to moderate. I'm going to make you a moderator. Just, you know, if, if you're going to do stuff like that, I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But don't feel, don't feel obligated. You know, we're missing Celine tonight. Super, super mod from grabbing questions. Um, so thank you, Carol. Emerald uh, Eyes asked if they can stop George Grayskill, will his arm be stronger? If they go the route of Victorion mm -hmm. in that in that same kind of idea of fire magic with some, you know, I don't think Sam's gonna. I mean, maybe he learned some magic, but if they go that route, yeah, yes, it will absolutely be stronger. Uh, it, it it'll look like hell, <laughs> but it'll be stronger if they follow that same route as far as the Victorion thing in the books. And because he is taking a little bit from everybody, and you know, seeing, you know, put him into one character. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did uh, I thought I had one somewhere in my? Yeah, I uh, saw one that caught um, 
Q and A. Joseph Ashley Q and A is Tywin brother and other. No, I don't think so. I think Gary and Lannister just disappeared in Valyria. Maybe we see him again. He he went after Bright Roar. It's a book thing. Uh, he disappeared okay. looking for Bright Roar, their house of Cestral Sword, and never returned. A lot of people think he's a shrouded lord, stuff like that in the books, but that's a whole other thing. I don't think he's that big of a deal. That is not the real Herb. Oh, okay. So we got a oh we got a, a Herb impersonator. That's yes, what we got we going on here. <laughs> Uh yeah, uh, fake Herb. Um, they just are. They just are. <laughs> ask ask her. Um, so <laughs> Herb, that's pretty good, man. Herb's got a Herb's got a, a, a impersonator, man. Yeah, He's getting famous, man. Uh, Dustin, you have a question? Did you have a question? Okay, no, I just, I just thought you had a question. I, I didn't see it on here. If you did, <laughs> fake uh, Herb says LOL. <laughs> <laughs> just like you know, and somebody created a night bot. Uh, a fake no guy bot way. Yeah, I can't which is great it look, it's, he responds to people like too many things you're timed out too many caps you're timed oh, out oh I love it um, <laughs> oh. uh, let's see White Rabbit that's uh, in the chat White Rabbit Seal what legendary sword would you like to pop up in the show Dark Sister for sure and I thought we saw that last year but we didn't apparently hopefully we do and uh, I want to see uh, I want to see the Targaryen swords Hey, uh, what, what do we got? Emily of uh, Brooklyn's in the chat. Brooklyn? Yeah. Brooklyn says, Wright? Yeah, it says. Oh, Brooklyn Wright. There she is. This is. Uh, said, Please notice me. I'm your biggest fan or whatever. Yeah, <clears> she's, <throat> yeah, right. She don't even know what we do here. They uh, do watch it some. She okay, she me. has a question for Dustin. My cousin Dustin's sitting here behind us, and, and, mm -hmm. and so I don't know what's going on. What's, uh, what's, I see Brooklyn's there, but what is she asking? Thanks for watching, Brooke. Brooklyn uh, made all my tie dyes. Yes. There, there she is, the tie-dye girl. That's my baby. Oh, look, she's typing, and, and Nightbot deleted something. Brooklyn, type that again. I don't, I'm not. I don't see your question. Uh, let's see. Um, well, oh, yeah, Brooklyn's getting timed out by Nightbot. You can't type in capitals or nothing. <laughs> uh, Bob right. a lot. Been waiting for this all week. Appreciate you hanging out, Bob a lot. Did you just drop in? We've been going for, what, two hours and 24 minutes already? That's insane. It is crazy. Uh, oh, look at there. Look at there. Look at Anna Bordeaux Woodside. We love you, Brooklyn Wright. Oh. <laughs> Brooklyn, if you if you don't know, your dad has told everybody in here for weeks now about the tie-dyes. They love his tie-dye shirts, and they know you're the uh, you're the maker. That's exactly right. Uh, let's see. James, my dad, I'm kidding with the spam. Please don't be mean to me. No, that's that's a bot, Brooklyn. That's not a person. Yeah, that, that's a bot. It's a bot. If you spam, like, capitals and stuff, it it, it, it talks shit. It's not <laughs> it's not a real person. It talks major shit. I'm glad you're on here watching tonight, babe. Yeah, that's cool. Now, uh, my kid's in the other room, and I bet you she's just down playing or just texting somebody. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Nightbot is an asshole. Um Matt Roper, will Cersei flee for King's Landing and Cassie, or for Cassidy Rock season seven? Matt, Matt Roper, uh, I don't think so, Matt. I, I would, you would have thought she would have learned her lesson, but she's, you know, she thinks she's smart, right? And she'll have this fucked up plan, and she'll die trying. That's that's she's not going to go back to Cassidy Rock. It's because Danny's going to take it first. Danny's not even going to give her that option. She's going to box her in literally. Cassidy Rock is being taken, and that's going to be under Tyrion's suggestion, I think. All right. Mm. Smokescreen's biggest fan said, you mean you have siblings? <laughs> what? Smokescreen is my daddy. Smokescreen is my daddy. says, you mean I have siblings? <laughs> <laughs> Smokescreen is my daddy? That's actually an account? That Some, somebody so made an account? Awesome. Oh, shit. You said, yes, you have. The other room. Uh, damn, yes. I, I hope I'm not any other kids out there. Man, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Nerd Factor, what's up, man? How are you doing? Thank you. Thanks a lot, Nerd Factor. Uh, how, how have you been doing, man? I hadn't, uh, hadn't seen, your, seen your stuff in a while. Um, thoughts on Danny and Tyrion marriage? Uh, he could possibly be the last of a powerful house, and it cuts him where she breaks off with Big, Big D and stating in that show, Pipe Dream, I know. Yeah, I mean, I saw that scene last season. I first kind of thought, hmm, she kind of like loves. He's like looking at her with those. But then again, when you look at it again, it's like, it's just appreciation. Like I he's agree. made it. Like he's done something really important. It's exactly. Although what I took he's it. been an imp and been picked on, and he was a Lannister. La you know, everybody's laughing as the as the shitty Lannister or whatever. And the whore dog in him is still there a little bit. Yes. So he's probably appreciating her beauty. 
but no. Yes. I took I, that scene just like yeah. you described. I think if you go back and look, he's such a good actor, and he you is. you can see it like he was really like appreciative of her putting that confidence in him. Absolutely. Uh, Roberto Ortega, thank you, Roberto. I don't see I see your super chat, but I don't see a question, so I don't know if you meant to. Feel have free one. to type one. Feel bro. free to type we'll another one. To I'll definitely it. try to catch it. Um, uh, let's see here. We still have damn near oh five fifty one watching. I thought it said six fifty one for a seven. Like damn, we we went up. Um, let's see here. Uh. Kyle Dubs, QA, what Super Chat question would you ask a character from God? Well, what Super Chat question? I don't know what I'll pick from. I'd ask, I'll tell you what, for tonight, I would ask Bron about the... I know. I'd ask Bron where the hell he's from. <laughs> I know. I'd ask Bron the question that we got from... Who, who was it about Bron? Uh, was, it, was it Juan? Um, damn, I don't even remember. Uh, oh, no, it was uh, on the... What, oh, um, that might... Yeah, that, that was stream. Actually, let me check that really quick. Uh, that was... Was that was uh, Ethan... Ethan? Yeah, Ethan Hunt asked. I would ask. Yeah, I would ask Ethan's question. Uh, okay, we're good there. All right. Uh, let's see. Tom Barrett, super chat. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Uh, book Q and A. Will Stoneheart give John the kiss? Mm, I, I don't think so. I don't think the logistics work there. I think it's 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 going to be something related to Melisandre, just like in the show. That's just my opinion. She's down too far in the Riverlands. Like I was saying before, Tom, I don't know if you were here, um, I don't think Stoneheart's going to make it much longer and get much further north as far as having to get to the wall or something like that. And I definitely don't think she'll make it to Winterfell. Um, Capital H said maybe uh, Mance hired Bronn. Yeah, uh, but how would he... Well, well, that's right. In the books, Mance does sneak over the wall and, right. and infiltrate Winterfell and stuff like that, so maybe he could have ran into him somewhere. Very, that's a good possibility. Yeah. That's interesting. I'll have to dig into that for a book thing and kind of see how that would tie into the show for your show watch. Good yeah, point, that's, Capital H. Yeah, very good point. Excellent. That's that's interesting because Mance does know some things. He sneaks across, he gets into Winterfell, and people don't know it's him. So he knows what's going on down south. And he is not dead in the books, by the way. It was not him that was burnt by Melisandre and Stannis. It was Lord of Bones. Do you remember the guy that he Tormund killed in the show at Hardhome? He was the one that actually burned. Melisandre glamored him, so it was not Mance that died. Uh, Carol Brown, thank you, new Miss Moderator Carol Brown with the blue wrench. Um, question from Big Sensi, was Sansa Mary Sweet Robin after Littlefinger's demise and rule the veil? I think it's possible. It just kind of depends on how this thing goes down, how the, how the, it ends if John is still like a king in the north or he gives that up or he dies for, or for, for that matter. Uh, Bran is still there, technically. Right. As the as the heir, but you know now that he's been proclaimed king, can you like unproclaim him king? It's really never happened. Um, so I think it's a possibility with with Sansa and Sweet Robin if she plays the game and takes it away from Littlefinger, because right now Littlefinger's like stepdad. I see what you're saying. So yeah. she could take that from him by marrying Robin. Wow. So that would be a good play for her. Now would she want to stay in that marriage? No, <laughs> probably not. But there is a moon door. <laughs> but you are leaning towards Sansa is starting to play the game, right? Yes, I mean, there, yeah, we, yeah, scene... and I think uh, that she's going to start killing, and whether she, and not just, and that probably starts with Littlefinger, but that's a good possibility for a book thing because she's not at Winterfell. Okay. Is that she marries Robin and does the same thing to Littlefinger out the moon door? Bam. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's a whole different thing in the books, but that's a good, good possibility. Three, two, seven. Stargirl says, will the show uh, mention a Shardane, or is it too late in the show? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I, honestly, guys, uh, you know, I've said this before. I know there's a lot of theories out there that still people don't accept RLJ, but I honestly don't think that a Shara is that big of a deal in the sense of the story that we're seeing now. I think it was a past thing about Ned. I think that was part of his story. You know, he. I'm sure there was a relationship there. He was in love with her. I'm not sure there was an all. You know, any offspring from that or whatever, as far as the stillborn, and her killing herself. But I think that was about him having to change his plans in life all of a sudden because Brandon died and becoming exactly. the becoming the, the the you know the Lord. He was never going to be that. He was the second brother. Right. Benjamin said to hell with it. I'm going to join the Night's Watch. Yeah. I can't. I ain't never going to be shit. Around for this bullshit. So I might as well go up here and be a leader. And, it's, yeah. and you know, there's still some honor to it. In a, and to a star. Sure. 
And so that's I don't necessarily to think it's a stark. You see, I see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, there really absolutely. is. There's, I mean, even though they know it's kind of become a shithole, um, but you know, it's like I think that was part of Ned's story more than it was any kind of you know John Snow thing. Honestly, I, I, some things are just straightforward. I just think that's just the way it is. It's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. Right. Um, yes, Pete, we're still alive. Uh, you, everybody seeing us okay? Oh, are you just coming back? Yeah, we we just go, man. We got five, almost six hundred people going. We still we still going. Right. We used to do about three hours, three hour and fifteen minutes. Uh, yeah, I, that somebody I saw somebody mentioned a minute ago. I'm sorry, I missed the name. Um, but as far as Braun thing, that's a good idea. Braun going to hire to kill the king beyond the wall. That would be hey now. interesting. They hear about some problem up there, and maybe the maybe. But do you think the Night's Watch? That's what they were trying to do. So I don't I don't know who would. Who would want to kill the king beyond the wall that's not the Night's Watch? Because remember, people in the South, they don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't give a damn about what's going on at the wall. They don't believe there's any real threat. Because there right. is a damn <laughs> giant-ass ice wall. So I can kind of see their point. But uh, Bob Run, let's do five tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know, man. Herb. We'll, we'll see. What's that? Herb. Fake Herb? Right there. <laughs> oh, we got a fake Herb. Herb's gonna be Herb's pissed. gonna you know Herb's gonna be honored. I don't know. He's gonna be pissed and honored yeah. <laughs> to, to get a fake Herb. Like that's uh, not M. Shaw, is it? Is that M. Shaw? Like, uh, could be M. Could Shaw. be M. Shaw, man. I'm telling you, M. Shaw. Lay off the reefer. Uh, let's see. Q <laughs> Trey Hardy, Q and A. What's your favorite season episode so far, man? That's hard. I I love them all. Uh, I mean. I really liked the beginning because it was so close and setting everything up, but I really love the payoffs, too. See, yeah. So, season six, I enjoyed. Season one, two, three, and four, probably for the story more because it's, you know, it was building up really close to the books. But, you know, you can't you can't argue with the visuals and the payoffs on season no. six. You know, no, you cannot. The Jon Snow reveal, which is the biggest thing ever, obviously, in the show. But I think uh, my favorite episode is just – and it sucks that it's one of the big ones. I like yeah. Hard Home. Yes, that's that's true. And I mean, the Red yeah. Wedding. There's, I like those two episodes. They just I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mike Bush on says season uh season nine Ramsey <laughs> Ramsey's return was the best season. <laughs> yeah, that's a you know, possible future there. Uh Herb says uh, fake Herb, never lay off the reefer. Um let's see here. Uh I've lost the audio video. Uh, refresh, refresh. We still have audio. Everything's go good here. Yep, just checking. Yeah, we're not dropping frames. Uh, Dragon fifty six sixteen says Q and A. Why didn't we see Bran in the trailer? Yeah, I, I think that's. Uh, I, we might get a little bit in the. In, that should have been another trailer. I'm thinking at least two because we're they're behind this year. At least two trailers. One probably next month. Maybe maybe a two like a, another version of the second one, but not too much. They want to save that. They want to save brands. Okay. Because it's going to be visions. Yeah. And and those are going to be big, big moments. So Good I think point. I think that's why we did. Because you didn't. I was going to say earlier when we were talking about the poster. Mm -hmm. when we first started like they all this emphasis on the Night King and his eye. Everything's about his eye, and you see the reflections. Yeah, dude. But you're then right. you go to the trailer. There's no Night King. Well, what? Why is that not there? Why is the Night King and Brand not there? Exactly. Because they got to save that shit. For, you're they right. They got to save that you're shit. Right. They don't want to give that away. Um. Let's see. Um, I agree, Carol. So far, <laughs> uh, Colin Grant, uh, Ga Colin Gallant, Q and A. Did you guys notice the person in the trailer who was part of the John Circle with the Warhammer, uh, Gendry? Yes. Um, also, I don't think John uh, drawn to the tombs of Winterfell since see him and uh, Littlefinger down there. Well, yeah, Colin. That's definitely Gendry. He's definitely going to be on that trip. Uh, he will get Robert's Warhammer. Um, and the John thing, I, I, I don't a, think it's, he's. I don't, oh yeah, in the books, he's drawn there. You see that? I told you I had to write a note earlier. Oh yes, because that's something I'm going to ask you too. Is is there something in his DNA as a targ? Yeah, that's the que that's the question that yes. would draw him to something in that crypt. Forget the start. And the only thing, it wouldn't be like a Targaryen relic, like a harp. It wouldn't be right. a sword or armor. But it would have to be something like a saying, dragon egg or that's something. That's what I was. That's exactly yes. what I was going to ask you. It would have to be something like a something dragon related because it's, that's what they exactly. have as a blood bond with that's dragons. That's what I was going to ask. 
So, like I said, we talked about that. With, Would there you know, be a Stark who got an egg, or when that well, when you that had, dragon flew? Yeah, that was going to say you had you had uh, you had him fly up uh, to during the dance of the dragons right. to go get support. And, and Bear Max supposedly him. laid a clutch of eggs, possibly. Right. And so if they're there, he could be drawn. To it, it very very possible if there if there is in fact eggs there, but we just don't know if that could happen. The size of that and all that could a dragon get down there and lay a clutch? Would he or she? Whatever, you know. So, yeah, I mean, if there is something drawing him, like in the books, he's definitely having these dreams. The show, they really hadn't harped on any of that at all. He's not even a warg. But it would have Good to point. be something like that. I, I would think. I could mean, I, They could have found the dragon egg clutch and moved it down there. And yeah, that's true. That's very possible, stored too. Stored it down yeah, there. Yeah, somebody, somebody snuck him in there and hit him away. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, Deborah, Deborah Breed Love. Let's see. Let me try to find it again. Yeah. Uh, Q and A. I think since it started with the first, I think since it started with the first men, it will end with the last women. Bam. Check out who is remaining in each house. One from each uh, might be required. Yeah, we were. We Chris were kinda, has talked about this. We were yeah. kind of talking about that, and uh, I, don't know, I guess it was Dragon. I think we it was about, Dragon. We're talking about a lot of shit in Dragon. Those four parts. Yeah, go check those out if you hadn't seen them. It's it's four parts. Most are thirty minutes. Some are an hour. Right. But th we talked about a lot of this end game stuff, and th you can see the shift in you know women rulers and things changing, yeah, you can. and that's what's leading us to believe that there's going to be an end to this um, patriarchy bullshit. It may not be. I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be a complete shift like to perfect democracy overnight, mm -hmm. but there's going to be some changes to get and in that Danny's direction. Danny's already started that with Yara, and Danny's already started that with like his, yeah exactly uh, Yara or Ash in the books. Uh, Good night, Crystal. I guess Crystal's leaving. By Crystal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, did we get a super chat? Uh, yes, I think we did. I didn't. I didn't see it. Um, sure did. Harsh one two five. Yes. Amy. Yeah. Harsh one two five. Amy. Thank you. There's no question there. Um, so I don't know if you had a question. Thank you so much. I don't see one. And was that Australia? I think maybe. I, I think so. Um, so yeah, Harsh one two five. Amy. Thank you, but there's no question. Please feel free to type your question again if you had one. I'm not sure if you did or not. Um, yes, Jack. Jack Zionis, will this be uploaded on YouTube? Yes, it will automatically process as a video after we're done streaming. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, it'll take a little while because it's long, but it'll uh, it'll be up there. It'll take a couple hours. Sharon Allen, Q&A. Can Brand's <laughs> arm be unbranded? Uh, that's a good question. I mean... I think he may not want it to be. That's true. Um, I think the only way it really can be is once the Night King dies. Exactly, and we talked about that before. We thought yeah. thought about that mark when when right, when like he it, dies. it fades yeah. off, or mm -hmm. you know, the magic stops, and all the whites just remain drop in their places, you know, stuff like that. I would think it'd be the same thing. Um, Embers, I'm sorry, Embers on Fire PM. Cornell says, Chris wanted to tell you I love the dragon through your insignia. It's an amazing design. I agree totally, because yeah, it just, used to not be there, and when you put it there, it changed everything for me. Yeah, and, and it's things. still not the main logo. The logo is just a logo, but, but I was no, like, yeah, let's bad. throw a dragon or something in there to make it you know, look more godlike, because that's really what I focus cool. on. So, yeah, thank you. I, and it's literally nothing but a little thing I threw over the top and made I know it a little, what, bit, you know, a little bit transparent. So, thank worked. you. And I think that's Paula. I know you changed your name last week. <laughs> it is. Thank that's you. right. Thank it you, sure Paula. Is. Uh, Roger says, will we see Nymeria Aria reunion? Yes, we will. And I think in the trailer there, and I, and I, there was a couple things, like I do the trailer, I don't I don't take notes, and sit, I just sit down and talk about it and see what I see, but then I think of stuff afterwards, of course. I think that scene, almost it almost looked like the scene where she's like building the campfire, uh -huh. you know, and she's building, the, and it's like, they show her breath. Yeah. But there was one shot there after just showed the cold, or right before they showed the cold breath, one or the other, mm -hmm. it almost looked like something watching her from that camera angle. So it's like, is that Nymeria I creeping up? I see what up? you're saying. Like she's going to, like Nymeria's going to track her down. Yes. So I think we'll de they you definitely may be will. Right. They definitely will show the dire wolves uh, and we'll, keep her warm or something. Help keep her warm. It could you know? be. So we may be. That's what we're not seeing in those shots of her. Maybe at Winterfell was. Now, Miriam actually maybe I mean, not Miriam. Uh, yeah, right beside her again. Like you just don't see that in a shot to, to surprise yeah. us. Uh, oops. Good thought. Let's see here. Uh, let me let me double check this. You're All not, right. You're not fake herb, are you? Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, we got a, that's, that's crazy. A fake curb and then a, a something with smoke screen in it. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, Ben Jammin, Nightbot, fight me pussy. <laughs> Nightbot's a bastard, I'm telling you. Um, but I, I think it's kind of funny. It's entertaining, so I'm just going to leave him. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fuck with him. Um, where's the hammer when you need one, Nightbot says. Yes, yes, see, he's fighting you. He, don't, don't do it, man. I'm telling you, he's batshit crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Matt M., uh, Q and, well, hold on, I lost it, let me grab it. Matt M, uh, Q&A, if there are no gods theory that you've talked about before is true, and Bran is the so-called Lord of Light, is there a chance he could learn resurrecting abilities that mirrors the Night King? Sure. Uh, I just think that, my thing is, I just think there's different, you know, magic is magic, it's, it's, it's always been there, and there's just different types, like anything else. That's, uh, so you got this, I label it like this ice northern fire magic and then this kind of fire Targaryen magic is all I label it. So it's just, um, I think if he can send, the reason I say that is because Blood Raven can send dreams. And if Blood Raven can send dreams to people or enter people's dreams and whatever, like he did with Bran to recruit him. Right. He don't know, you know, I think that makes sense for, him, for Bran to be, or, or Blood Raven perhaps, to be able to send dreams through a flame. Because he was a Targaryen, and it, you know, not necessarily you have to have special blood. It was just the green sight thing, but that's first men blood actually. But he was kind of both mm -hmm. through House Blackwood. So it just makes sense for me for him to be pulling all these strings around the world. Um, not that it's true. I could be completely wrong. It could be just a magical ability that, that the Melisandre learned from her religious people. Exactly. And they think it's a god or it's through the construct of religion. So it completely be them on their own. But to me, when you start putting together the pieces, like why did Varys get burnt and cut, and then yeah. you know the voice, and you know Kinvara, and well Kinvara on the show, Melisandre, and all the different prophecies, it makes sense when it, it comes. It's kind of the the, the piece of the puzzle that makes everything fit. Is like somebody's right. controlling these, you know, somebody's putting these people on different paths to to kind of line up. If that makes sense. So, I've got one from Ever Curious. All right, because they said um, I'm. I'm persistent. I'm persistent and patient. I can do this all night. So I went back and looked to see if maybe they've been asking a question. Yeah, sorry, guys. These things fly by. I've, we've said it a million times. Just to reiterate, we're we're not ignoring anybody. No, this we're, is a, we're just grabbing what, what we can grab. This is ever curious. It says Q and A. Who does the North send to treat with Cersei to convince them about the others and get their help fighting them without the envoy being killed? Brienne, Littlefinger. They can't just send a raven. Yeah, I, that's true. Um, I don't know. Um, it it could be a raven though. I think I think Danny lands as far as Danny goes, and this will tie into it in a second. I think I think Danny sends ravens to everybody, saying like Aegon did. I'm I here. Yep. You know, I'm here. Look, this is what's going to happen. You know, I got dragons. If you don't like it, but then I think uh, John goes to see Danny first. I think Melisandre. I just called that earlier. I agree. I think with Melisandre that. sees that she's already at Dragonstone, and then. With Davos' help being the master negotiator mm -hmm. and Tyrion probably agreeing, um, which will be touchy for Tyrion, it but they have to reach out. I think then they have to reach out to the Lannisters and then they actually go. I think John is not the person to send somebody else for that job. You, okay. that, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I agree. It's almost the same as the man who <clears throat> passes the sentence to swing the sword. Too important. Yeah, I think John's got to go himself. He's not going to send a rider. Cause, you know what I mean? I think he goes. And that's what we'll see, a meeting in King's Landing. And that would be why you have the meeting there without, with Danny included, yeah, without already owning the city, taking it over. Uh, How do you think it goes? Uh, I think it'll go uh, very tense. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I think that Cersei will pretend to agree. That's what you keep saying. Just I, I to make that, sure you're staying with that. Uh, I, I think you're right. King McKay, here's King McKay. I think the Cersei will be put in the position to negotiate after after Euron is defeated. Yes, yeah, she may very well be, uh, but I, th I think uh, King McKay, she may very well, very well be, but I think either way, she's going to try to fuck them over, and and that's going you know because she's going to have this master plan that that doesn't work out <laughs> as usual. As usual, her yep. track record is horrible. <laughs> There's the real Herb. Whoa, Herb, man. One. Let me tell you, Q and A. If you read my question, I was not here. Uh, no, I, I didn't read it, Herb, because uh, you, you were you were you left. I start, saw people saying bye, but you do have a. Oh my God, Herb! You got a fake Herb in here now, man. I'm just telling you, just a warning. But I see you, <clears> Batman <throat> thing. <laughs> I hope fake Herb don't go. Check. 
Oh, shit. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, Carol grabbed a question from... Uh, yo, Chris and James, book question from Donnie Lyons. Is Loris really dying at Dragonstone, or does Tyrell plot? I, I, I don't know. I've been curious about that, too. I, he, he, she's, he supposedly... He, Cersei's told that Loris, or Cersei's telling people that Loris is at Dragonstone injured. Okay. Uh, and she, I think it, I think he might be, actually. I don't necessarily think hmm. it's a Tyrell plot. So, I, I think he actually is. And we'll see how that plays out. But uh, I don't, I don't see a reason for, um, I mean, that's the news she heard. So, I don't think it's Cersei lying about it, is what I'm saying. Uh, thank you, Carol, for grabbing people's questions. And, and again, Carol, don't, don't feel like you have to moderate, um, if you don't want to. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, was it Roberto Ortega, Q&A, what do you think of the idea of Bran could end up going back to learning how to forge Valyrian steel? He can then share that knowledge to help defeat the Whites. Well, Roberto, I was <clears throat> saying before, I don't think necessarily that it's even possible, but the Whites don't care about Valyrian steel. They're they're just fire. Fire takes care of whites. Right. Only white walkers. So if you think about it that way, you don't need a lot of Valyrian steel for a, a handful, 11, 12 now, whatever exactly. we got left of white. <clears throat> now, the books could be different. Yep. But 11 or 12, I think it's 11 left after the three that's died, um, and the, including the child that was turned. Uh, you don't need a lot necessarily to fight them. Right. Um, but, of course, that's where dragons come in. So. If you had everybody Valyrian steel all of a sudden, where they can magically, you know, produce so many, you know, know how to do it, um, then it's not the same. You don't need dragons in a way, almost. Yeah, but and except for the whites, we've talked about if you need, you know, a huge supply of something, why not use the um, dragonstone? Yes, dragon glass. Dragon yes, glass. Sorry, dragonstone. Dragon yes, on ah, dragon, no, it dragon is glass. on dragonstone exactly. But yeah, why not use that yeah. for arrowheads and, and things like that? We talked about. And John, about. as a yeah. matter of fact, will go to Dragonstone and mention that to Danny. Look, you got all this shit here. Stannis told me it was here. I, this work stuff works. I've seen it. Exactly. And Sam obviously did that too. So, all right, uh, let me check stream, lad. What do you want to do? Do we want one more quick break and then another session here? Uh, I know Let's you do have that. to. You actually have to work tomorrow. I know. Unbelievable. Uh, it's uh, it's insane. Um, uh, okay, we're good there. All right, guys. So let's do that. You want to do that? Uh, one yeah, more let's little do segment. A, a quick break, and then we'll take we'll do another segment here and see how it goes. We got five fifty nine watching now. If we can keep that number. Yeah, up. yeah. yeah There's still do another good almost six hundred people hanging out. Let's yeah. do another All good right. segment. Okay. Well, let's do that. We'll take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks a lot, guys.
All right, all right. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Yeah. Ready to cop up there and quit clicking. Looks like fake Herb's been causing trouble. We might have to block him. Uh oh. What's going on? I don't know. He's starting to annoy me. Watch people. it, fake Herb, man. No, no drama up in here, please. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Marilyn Bentley also, by the way, type, type something. I can help if you want to uh, help moderate. I, I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to. You don't feel, don't feel obligated. Um, also, Dustin told me uh, somebody was spamming Mark V a, a question. So Mark V asks, and I got it down here on the phone. Uh, Q and A in the trailer when it when it when it shows Ari, we can see her breath. The same way Brandon comes, you can see the breath and the White Walkers came for them. Do you think that means Ari comes in contact with the White Walkers? Um, I, I wouldn't think so because she's still south of the wall, and the wall, they really can't do anything until that wall comes down, which I think is at the end of the season. I think it was just showing her getting further north right. from her trip, That's showing that she's exactly. going to, to Winterfell. So I think it was just more of a regular. And, uh, and it's starting to get really cold. It's starting there. to get really, really cold. And I said in the in the trailer review that you know she's never experienced a real winter. She's too young. Uh, in the show, they made them older, so she would have been very young if, uh, if this winter lasted what ten years or the summer lasted ten years. So uh, yeah, in the books, especially Arya has never experienced a real winter. So yeah, that's I think that was basically what that implied. I mean, it was kind of a play all that because we saw Cersei's breath, but I don't think it was actually the Night King. Mike Bushnell said, fake herb prefers imitation herb. Hashtag diversity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, PC culture. Uh, let's see here. Um, let me double check um, everything here. No super chats. And let me double check stream labs. All We're right. Good. We're good. All right. Okay. Uh, mm. Let's see. Jake says, Jake, uh, is that uh, Swayze? Uh, I'll probably Good enough. butcher that. Uh, close enough, maybe. Uh, I would gladly accept Littlefinger taking the throne. He's played the game best, but frankly, he's earned it. He yeah, has played a hell he of has, a game. He has played the game. I definitely like him as a villain. I respect him. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, I just wouldn't want to end that way where, like, you know, just to, just to be different, you know, from a you know, storytelling mm -hmm. perspective. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, uh, fractured. Uh, I can never say this, and, and as it gets later, I see even worse. Dempersist. Fractured. De yeah, dempersist. Uh, everyone's excited, overexcited about that blur in the Aria pick, but it's just an out of focus leaf. Yeah, very true. It probably is um, a, a leaf in the camera. I said something like meant possibly a window, but yeah, it could be very well a leaf. Probably that simple. Um, uh, Paula or Embers on Fire PM now uh, says, uh, "Hey, do you think that Danny's throne is all dragon glass? Um, her actual throne on Dragonstone? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's dragon glass. I think it's actually just carved out of the stone. But there is a shit ton of dragon glass there all over the place. And I think they will. I think Danny will probably take John and Davos and them down to the like these layers and stuff on the beach. Right. That the dragons probably hang out in." And show them all that stuff because I believe they'll bring that up from what Stannis told them. Trey Hardy, grab that one. Uh, Trey Hardy, Q and A. What will the end game be for Torment and the rest of the Wildlings? Um, I'm hoping, Trey, man. I, I, damn, I hope that, that Torment lives and gets the Dread Fort. Yeah. I, I won't. Even if he doesn't, at least his people or daughters or whatever. I'm not sure if like we've seen her. Good point. His daughters survive. I think they they did. Obviously, he they came through the wall. Um, but I was hope they get the dread for it because House Bolton's gone, and and I think John will want to forgive. Like you said last year, there's nothing to apologize for to the to the other houses in the north, the Umbers and so forth. Yeah, that would be cool. We're gonna lose a lot of wildlings, but I hope he's. Uh, Roger Kogambo, what percentage? Yes, no. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. I, I don't think it's going to happen only because of the Hound's Ark. So I'm going to say, I'll, I don't know, twenty percent chance. But it's certainly possible. Uh, ARC, uh, do we think? Well, well, let me grab it. I keep losing it. ARC or ARC? I can't. I don't know how we pronounced this last week. If it's right. ARC or ARC, uh, Q and A. Do we think we'll find out about the red door, the lemon tree, and Danny's visions? Yeah, book only thing. Um, I think we will. And a lot of people think, well, it could have been a mistake because he, he does make mistakes. 
but there's too many other references to it in the books about the lemon tree and the red door being in, you know, and how Bravos can't be, can't, uh, don't, doesn't have the climate for lemon trees or tropical right. fruit. So I think we will find out something about that and being in Dorn, obviously. I'm sorry. I, Jerry, I was going to ask you one. Warden of the Dawn, I think it is. What, right there. Warden of the Dawn. Q&A, do you think John grabbing Littlefinger was because he was angry at Littlefinger because Littlefinger told John Ned is not his father? Yeah, that's a, that's a, it could be. That could um, piss John off enough I, to choke him. Yeah, it, it could be. Uh, but I would think right now, since we got the other, because I don't know if he knows that. Uh, I think he does, again, know about the Ray Garliano I agree. love story, or not a kidnapping at least. But I would think, um, I would think it's because he says something to undercut Sansa. And he ain't gonna stand for no shit like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Like right. he says something like, "Look, Sansa's Sansa's trying to overthrow you. She don't like yeah. you, the king." Sansa can put up with that undercut yeah. John better than John exactly. can put up with. Exactly. Sansa will maybe pretend this time to put up with it, right. but John will fucking snap like he does, obviously, and throw him up against the wall like Ned did. So yeah. I think that's probably what it, what it's related to, at least. I don't think it's gonna be like that clean cut as far as Littlefinger um, giving John the news. <clears throat> Carol grabbed one, it looked like. All right. Uh, Carol, thank you, Carol, for grabbing the question from Ryan. Uh, is that Meadors or, or Meadors? Uh, Q&A, does it not look like when Bran falls in his vision, the Night King grabs him to keep him from falling? He could have killed him twice over. Um, when he falls in his vision, the Night King, I don't remember. It just I think the only time he grabbed him, he was standing up fine. Yeah, the, in, the, in the vision. He's the only time he's, I didn't see the Night King anywhere. I mean, when he fell in the visions. If oh, you talk, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Talking about the flashbacks, I'm assuming, right, uh, where he touches the tree and you see all the various stuff. Yeah. It, it just kind of falls down to black. Wrong. Yeah. It just falls down to black. So I wouldn't think so um, as far as the Night King being involved with that directly. Um, George Williams, why are you guys spoiling the expected suspense of the Game of Thrones? Uh, George, I don't think we are spoiling anything. We're just talking about it and speculating. That's it. That's um, all that's, we're that's doing, That's all brother. it is, man. There's no, there's no plot leaks and spoilers here. We just speculate, and, and you're we welcome answer, to it. Yeah. We're just answering questions, answering and questions that people that are think, want, want so to know. Ask us one, George. Yeah, feel free. Uh, that Mike Bushel guy has the best got videos. Yep. Well, he definitely got the best comments, and he's Absolutely. always first, for damn sure. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Becky, this is an inter interesting idea that people have been bringing up. Uh, Becky McGrath, QA, do you think we'll see Ice versus Ice if Rand and Jamie are forced in the showdown in season seven? Trailer shows Jamie that holding with his cool. will. I'd like to see a version of the Brienne and Lady Stoneheart meeting. Yeah, I, I think it's possible. Um, ice had, versus ice. That's cool. They kind of hinted uh, at, the, at possibly a conflict last year in the tent when he, she tried to give it back, and he's like, no, it's yours. I don't think so. They, they like each other too much right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I, I think um, by that time, I don't I don't know if um, I don't know if Jamie's going to see Cersei again. Uh, I, I I don't know. That's that's a tough one. If 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 it follows the what I'm thinking about, was you meant Brienne. I'm sorry, with Brienne, yeah. Jamie C. Brienne again, right? Because with the Cersei thing, I don't know if once he, I think he's going to be involved in the Tyrell thing at High Garden and damn near get killed there, probably. I'm sure because he's got to lead the army, right? The Lannister army. Damn. So I don't know. Once he gets back, depends on the timing. You know, I don't think he's going to uh, to see Brienne, and, and depending on assuming she stays in the north. With Sansa, which I think she would. Yeah. I would think she would stay up there with Sansa regardless because she's not leaving her side. She won't fail again. So I don't know, but I would, I could definitely see a death scene of, like, say, Jamie, for example, and he says Brienne is his last words or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's too cliche. I, I would dig it. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, when you go to Con Rick, Rick Moore, too, and now when you go to Con Thrones, who is rock watching Riddick? Uh, good question. I got to get that a Arranged. I got to get that uh, arranged. Probably uh, my uh, maybe my cousin Eric, and if he watches this, Eric, I'll ask. <laughs> I'll talk to you about it later. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got to figure that out. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a couple more. We're, we're at our three hour and ten minute mark almost, um, and then we'll get out of here and let everybody go to sleep. Uh, Stacy, Chris and your best. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you um, so much. Uh, Big Sensi says Q and A. If the children. Uh, 
if the children's only weapon was dragon glass and it seems to be only available where dragons are present, would that suggest the children were originally, uh, what, oh, damn it, I just lost I it. it yeah. uh, the very last were originally from Essos. Well, um, first off, I don't think that dragons have anything to do with dragon glass. It's just volcanic activity. So, uh, any, and there are volcanoes unknown in, in Westeros, but plenty in Essos, obviously. And, of course, that's the doom of Valyria and how that happened. But, uh, so, I think, but, I mean, yeah, if they were the first race, you know, and there was a, an, or, an arm there of Dorne. Right. Certainly. Certainly possible they used to live in, in Essos. I don't think, I think they probably migrated there like everybody else in some way, shape, or form. So, certainly possible. Uh, Mimi Gotfan, uh, how many trails do you think HBO would do? I would guess I would guess three as usual. I, I'm guessing in a couple weeks, probably another one, and then maybe a modified version of that one. But I don't think, like we were talking about, they're going to give away too much with Bran and the Night King. Yeah, I think, I think you're right about that. So one more sense. different one, and then maybe a short kind of modified version with the same kind of stuff as far as, a, you know, not really a lot of new material in the third right. one. Right. Because you still got a month and a half. So, I mean, they got time. Uh, Karen, uh, just saying hi from sunny Australia. Hello there. My mom is in Australia right now and sure having a good is. time. So, uh, hopefully she is doing good. I hadn't talked to her today. Uh, Chris M. Great stuff. Thank you, Chris. Um, Did hello from Ireland. Saw the Great Barrier Reef? Yeah, I think she was the last couple of days at the, at the Great Barrier Reef. And That's so she's, cool. uh, she's posting some stuff. So, uh, you're welcome, Mimi. Um, Let's see here. Let me double check while I'm thinking about it. Uh, Streamlabs. I hadn't seen anything, just but just wanted to make sure. All right. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. That's a good question from uh, Saul Velasquez. Okay. Q and A. Do you think the baby they get turned into a White Walker is still alive, or if we are going to see him again? Yeah, I mean, it, you don't really know. I they know. all kind of look similar, and do they age that? It, fast? Do they age that fast? I would assume they probably. I think do. they have to. I think they have to. Otherwise, it's it's going to die. I mean, magic. I mean, I'm some, I'm assuming it, it's it's pretty quick after the touch of the cheek. It has to. So be. you really don't know. I mean, it almost feels like that the one that John killed could have been him, but he, you know, you just don't know. They all look old and and, uh, and they age very fast. Apparently, so it's just hard to say. We just don't have enough information especially in the books because we just don't know anything about them there's no pov or anything like that so uh fabian uh why do you think john chokes the shit out of little finger we were just talking about that i think it's i personally <laughs> there's think there's nothing about shit and <laughs> oh I, did i just make that up? i added the word shit i'm sorry yeah why do you think john chokes the shit out that's of little just, finger because you want him to yeah, so bad yeah, exactly. another <laughs> another Freudian slip yeah. right well, that's just the way I that's just the way I roll. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you didn't say sorry, Fabi. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I said shit. Why do you think John chokes out Littlefinger? There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think personally, like we just said a few minutes ago, I think it's because he says something about Sansa trying to undercut, you know, John, and that I don't think it's the R L J thing. No, because I, I agree with you. I don't think he is really aware of that, and I think. That's his play now. It's playing them two against each other, and that's probably what he did. And yeah, you're right. John I, I won't think put so. up with and, it. And again, we could be completely wrong. Uh, Mama Mia, you guys are amazing. Thank you, Mama Mia. Thank you so much. Uh, Carol, Chris and James, any kind of Thrones updates? Uh, Carol, I don't know if you heard us in the beginning, but um, yeah, I, I will be on four panels now. Um, the, it's up on the Kind of Thrones website. You can go and click uh, either the schedule or the speakers. And I will be there under the speakers. You can click my name, and it'll show like the four panels I'm doing. So that, and we'll be in. Did I say booth 309? I keep 309. forgetting. I want to say 307 so, for some reason. I think it's booth 309, uh, in the in, in the vendor alley or whatever they're calling it. So while he's doing the panels, I'll be holding down the fort, serving him's <laughs> delight. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. Or, or actually, you might be filming the panels. <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. So, uh, yeah, we got to figure that out if they're going to let us film our own panels because I do want to put that on Heck the channel. Yes, man. But they're saying no video of some panels, but I think we can kind of work that out. So we'll, I'll let you guys know about that. But I'm going to try to do that for sure. Um, anyway. Uh, Hello, let's Landy see. Games. Q&A, do you think the Dothraki Riders will be disciplined enough to face off against an armored Lannister army? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. It's a fair lack question. Of discipline that's gonna yeah exactly be an because they're, they're used to pretty much rolling over people. But I don't think they're they're not. 
I don't think they're like they're stupid. I mean, they're they're no. experienced as hell. Um, but uh, yeah, they're not going to lie. I think that's exactly right because you you know this old warfare is almost stupid. It's almost like you line up and hold your flag up, say I'm right over here. Dothraki just, I mean, we assume we don't really know because you know they 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 have techniques though, like you saw the horse thing with Danny. Yeah. So I, I think that that's exactly what you're saying is right. The unpredictability of them and their sheer, you know, they're so good on horseback, kind of like the jousting thing. It's not about the the, the, the stick. It's about exactly. the horse riding. And, uh, yeah, the Lannister soldiers uh, won't be able to deal with that, I don't think, very well. The way the Native Americans here taught us about warfare. Yeah, it's not exactly. all about clean lines and everything mm -hmm. like that, you know? Exactly. And just the numbers, too, I'm sure. Hell, yeah. Um, uh, Karina Hunter, q are you playing a couple videos from Con of Thrones? It would be cool if you took a camera to walk us through it. What do you think of uh, Theory... Uh, Dane, uh, I gotta move this up and it's gonna skip it. Uh, Dane meant to kill, but Ned, Tower of Joy. Um, Dane meant to kill all, to kill but, all Ned. but Ned. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So with the Con of Thrones thing, yeah, I'm gonna definitely do some. I'm gonna try to. We, we got some plans to do some stuff. I'm gonna try to do some vlogging stuff for the for this channel. Yes, stuff like that. Again, I'm gonna try to do the the panels if that's possible. To let us put it on YouTube. I'm I'm sure we can get that worked out, but I'm not 100 percent on that. So I'll definitely try to do that and kind of walk through it and vlog and stuff like that. We've as well. talked about if the internet connection is good enough, we may live stream a little bit yes, with you guys. That's the other thing. I, that's the matter of fact. I'm glad you said that. That's the other thing I got to get locked down is the internet and and the power. We have to get that for the booth, which is the only thing left to be done now. So I got to get that. We don't know how it's going to be. If it's wireless, it's going to be crappy or good. We have no idea. Um, so we'll definitely try to do that. We may end up doing a live stream. As a matter of fact, with the podcast uh, group, we're probably going to try to do a podcast possibly from there. So there'll be some definitely some stuff going on. Um, and there was something. Um, oh, the Dane thing. Yeah, I thought about that, Karina. Um, like, but if you if you look at the show, because we got more in the show than we did in the books for the Tower of Joy, you would think that Dane would have put down his sword and not still been charging Ned. So I think he just had orders. Nobody goes in there. Absolutely, you're right. You know, I think he would have loved to do that because he's, everybody's like, "Why did you say, you know, good fortune and wars to come?" Yeah. I think that's just what you say. A lot of people said, like Matt said it right before he died too, but he knew he didn't. Wow, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily know. I mean, I would have been cool. You'd have thought, like, look, man, it's your sister. She's fine, and there's a baby in there. You yeah. Know? But, but I have orders. You, he has orders from Rhaegar, and that's all there is to it. And those were the real knights who were bound by honor and all that stuff. So he he followed his orders. All right, let's do a couple more, and then uh, then we'll get out of here and let everybody go to bed. Had, I think we just had a uh, uh, Streamlabs. Oh, did we? Okay. Uh, is that the same uh, that one for? Yeah. Okay, let me check Streamlabs. All right. Uh, yep. Yes, thank you, R.N. Smith, 2003. Thank you. Wonder Thanks, if, guys. I wonder if that means Nurse Smith. That's what I was thinking. I think we've seen this name before. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure we have. I was going to think thinking that the last time I saw it. Thank you so much, R.N. Smith, or possibly Nurse Smith. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, Cat Lover, 1981. Q&A, is it possible for the Night King could have any power against John since John has been raised from the dead? Could the Night King control him or if that's not possible? Well, that's, uh, that's certainly a possibility, um, but the question is, like, he died south of the wall and he was never taken north of it in any way, shape, or form, so that magic's blocked. So now that he's back alive, eh, you know, can he be controlled? Because he is alive again. It's not like he's a zombie or something. Right. So I wouldn't think he would be able to control him, and if, if so, maybe that's where the whole Targaryen thing comes in too. So I wouldn't think so, just because he's actually back alive and breathing and he's got warm blood throwing, flowing through his veins. Right. So I, I wouldn't think so, but that's a good idea, that's, you know, good thought. Yeah, it is a good thought, and uh, yeah, good logic on your part. Uh, oh, Aaron Smith, yes, I'm a nurse, also a Patreon supporter. Everybody's got, yeah, there's so many names, I'm sorry. Awesome. So yes, awesome, good for, good for you being a nurse. Yeah, thanks. For all you do. Uh, Deborah says, I'm falling asleep. Yeah, I'm getting, my, my eyes are heavy for sure. We're going to get out of here in, a, in just a couple minutes. We'll do, do a couple more and get out of here. Um, and James has to work, so uh, he's got to get up and roll. Um, let's see here. Uh, 
Q and A, Sansa and Podrick from Emily King. Sansa and Podrick. <laughs> I tell you what, once Podrick got a hold of her, he might, <laughs> she might think so, and hell with little Robin. Yeah, she let her hair you know, down. Cause, yeah, exactly, Podrick. Oh man, we uh, we still got to get, we got to find that out, and the the riddle, the honeycomb jackass riddle. Hell, you got to find it out. What did he do? Dave Tress, you got to go watch American Gods. You mean you do or I do? We both do. I need to watch. I got to watch it and, and figure out what's going on with that. Unfortunately, Janine, on Memorial Day. Yep, that's insane, man. That's insane. All right. Uh, Super Chat, Warden of the Dawn, I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Thank that's you so much. Awesome. Pre appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you. I love that line, too, man. There's something about that line. It's cool as hell. All right, Dave, take it easy. All right, well, I guess that'll do it. I guess that'll wrap it up. Well, let's take, uh, I just saw one Deborah pop in. Really love. James, uh, what do you do for work? Are you a superhero? Yes, he's a superhero uh, tie-dye guy. <laughs> he's even got a fucking cape. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Colin, last one. We'll take this last one from Colin. We talked about this a little bit. Colin Gallant, uh, Q&A, how the White Walkers communicate with anyone? That's the question. You know, they do have a language in the books. It's described by, you know, uh, Garrett is, is this icy, you know, almost like they're making fun of, of, of Royce. Yeah. Waymar Royce. And it's so they definitely have a language. And if they have armor and stuff like that, I mean, they have a blacksmith up there. They have culture. It seems to be in the books that's implied. But, again, Crasher, he, he communicated somehow or another, whether it was verbal or nonverbal. You, you know, like you know what I'm doing. I mean, he's got yeah, like a t-shirt. It might be a t-shirt. He's just holding a, a baby silhouette up. silhouette or something. Yeah, he's holding a baby up. Something happened. So there's got to be a way they communicate, and I think that's that's kind of got to happen at the end of this thing. So maybe Helen Reed figures that out part of as part of the whole thing with all the faces with the remaining children, uh, and or, or something like that as far as the communication thing. All right, guys, so we're going to get like out of here, I think. Anal glaucoma might be real. Exactly, Janine. I forgot about that from last week. Remember they wrote my boss a note? So oh, they have yes. anal glaucoma. That's right. You need another note. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, well, let's yeah. see. All right, so, yeah, let's get out of here. It's, we've, it's three, we are right on three hours and 20 minutes, our regular time. So we'll, we'll end it there, guys. So. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the uh, the super chat donations and the the the, uh, the, the Streamlabs donations too. Sure, thank all you. goes to Kind of Throne, so I really appreciate it. Uh, the, the weird part about it, let me say this really quick. The sad part about it is just like the super chat stuff. We the first one we didn't think about super chat. I know it just started happening, and I was like, oh, well, that's cool. What is this? You know exactly. It just started popping in. I guess I'd enabled it, but um, now we've studied it. In this but YouTube's down so much. The you know what I was normally making from regular YouTube videos is just gone or how is sixty percent gone, and then this was like okay we'll use this for kind of Thrones, you know the trip just to pay and, get some trip money going and then uh, yeah it's just kind of replaced the regular it's crazy the, it's insane almost to the dollar it, it really was it was it. it was really odd how that it, it was just replaced that bit almost to the dollar oh, exactly it was so weird. I mean we appreciate everyone that we see pop up now absolutely it's not like oh absolutely. pleasant surprise it's like all right you know thanks yeah uh, it, it's insane exactly yeah some to, to, let's see Toby Moss says 22k views equals 360 yeah that's about right right now yes it actually was a little better on these type of channels for a while. Uh, there's Low Horton, and there's a lot of people I missed. I didn't see so many names tonight. Um, but yeah, yeah, and, and and it's insane. So that kind of replaced that. So anyway, we'll we're, we'll get there though. We'll get there and and, and survive. Thanks, Hoonja. Thank you. But yeah, Good thank night, you guys everybody. for hanging out. Thanks, um, Omar. Uh, also, I guess uh, just a quick reminder: be sure to check out uh, the podcast again. I talked about before um, the side effect with Val from Because Geek, Rawest, Kevin from Bat Productions, and Tarzan from Trial by Trivia, and myself. That's every, uh, we record those on Tuesday and they come out every Friday. That's on a new separate YouTube channel. You can search for it in my, uh, from my channel or just search the side effect. And uh, also available I iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, all that good stuff. Right. Be sure to check that out. And uh, I, I think I updated everybody on Kind of Throne. So that's with the four and panels. I can see you Wednesday night. Yes. And Wednesday night, like I said, I'm 95.2, I think, I'm 95.7% sure now that 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be on with Rorist on her channel and a live stream and just hanging out with her and you guys there. So go over and check that out. So yes. uh, thanks, you guys. I think that's all. Thank and you so much for everybody moderating. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Man, it means a lot. Thanks a lot. 
Yep, and uh, thank you, Carol, for, for taking over tonight, moderation, everybody else, and the order 1814, I believe, and Sab uh, Sabine, although sh uh, she's not here tonight, but thank you guys, appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next Sunday.